Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, our topic is kind of special and is going to answer many questions regarding the topic, which is Islam. Uh, you know, there is many religions in this earth, if we can call them religion. We can give names and titles to each one of them. Some we call them cults, some we call them religions, some we call them believe you know we can you know like, i mean there is many names and many titles and everybody think about his own that it is the best uh, muslims they think islam is the best christian they think christianity is the best etc but in what it's called islam there is uh, unique things we need to learn about this uh, religion You know, uh, the idea of uh, to believe in Satan is to believe in evil. Like Satan always present the evil, the evil part of life, uh, the killing, the the uh, the rape, uh, the theft, uh, you you name it. So anything have a connection to evil, always we make it connected to what it's called Satan. Now, Satan is not really, uh, an, uh, let us say, an accurate name, but this is the most popular name in English, you know. Uh, and Muhammad, he copy names the same as he copy other names. So Satan is one of the names he copy. If you go and search for the origin of the word of Satan, which is in Arabic appearing exactly the same as the in, in, the, in the English one, what is Shaitan? You will see that Islam really is just a copy of others. If you ask a Muslim, any Muslim, what Satan mean? He don't know. Because simply, this is not a word coming from Islam and have nothing to do with Islam. Uh, is, Islam is a collection of other belief, and Muhammad take names from here and there. So when Muhammad want to speak about uh, the, the the book of the Christians he say in jail why because this is the name he learned he did not learn the name of the book except from the Greek people but that shown us that Muhammad he do not know what he's talking about because if Muhammad is a person who claim that he have knowledge and his God was teaching him and Jesus was sent only to the Jews then the book of Jesus should be only uh, a book speaking to the Jews delivering a message to the Jews in the language of the Jews and you don't give a name to the book which is a Greek name so how the word Injil come into the Quran you know what I mean how the word Injil appear in the Quran how the word Masih appear in the Quran Messiah how the word uh, uh, Esos which Isa appear in the Quran uh, how all those words come into the Quran simply because Muhammad is just a copy person and he is not a person who knows what is Christianity is about you see at least copy the Hebrew name of Muhammad of of, uh, of Jesus uh, in the other day a Muslim uh, said he, he post in YouTube he said do you know that the Christian in the Christian Bible in the Arab in the Arab Christian Bible the word Allah appear? Yeah, this is a false translation, my friend. This is a translation, and I don't agree with it. And I, I don't care for this book. Have the word Allah in any book. Have the word Allah. This is a false translation. If you want to prove me wrong, go and find me the word Allah in my Hebrew Bible or in my Greek Bible. Same as your Quran. When we read the translation of the Quran today, the Muslim they word they put the word Christians. And they would the word Jesus but all of us we knew that if you search the whole Quran we will not find the real name of Jesus which is Yeshua or uh, 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 like uh, uh, he copy a close word for the the the, the, the Al Masih from the Arabic from the Arab language but if we look in the Quran to look for Jesus we will not find it so why why you translate it you say Jesus it doesn't say that in the Quran. It says Isa. This is the same as those uh, Christians who they were under the occupation of Islam for more than 1400 years. So when they translate the Bible in order not to be slaughtered, they use the word Allah in the translation. But as you see, Allah for me is the devil and I don't worship him. 
after 1400 years of occupation by the Muslims the word Allah became part of the tradition and the language and the culture not only for the Arab Muslims but for the Christian because they live and you know they live not only with them they live under them they are second third hand citizen imagine you live between Isis for a week if they say to you you should call your God the devil you will call him the devil otherwise you will be killed uh, so today the topic is why only in Islam the devil is a Muslim why only in Islam the devil is a Muslim you know uh, 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 maybe a Muslim he might say to me <laughs> where you get this that the devil is a Muslim for sure we will show you but we will not show you first from the hadith we will show you from the Quran because the Quran confirmed that the devil is a Muslim and if the Quran confirmed that I mean who are you as a Muslim to say this is not a true so if we go in the Quran we will find this <clears throat> Um, let us zoom a little bit here. Trying to, to make all the text appear for you from your side, but we will see how we can do that. Okay. This is chapter 14, verse number 22. Chapter 14, verse number 22. وَقَالَ الشَّيْطَانُ لَمَّا قُضِيَ الْأَمْرُ أَنَّ اللَّهُ وَعَدَكُمْ وَعَدُ الْحَقَّ وَعَدْتُكُمْ فَأَخْلَفْتَكُمْ وَمَا كَانَ لَكْ لِي عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْ سُلْطَانِ Let us read in translation made by a Muslim by the Abdul himself. Chapter 14, verse number 22. Please invite your friends, share the link with everybody of your friends so we can have more people listening and learning. If we ask any Muslim, what is this about? What this verse is about? All Muslims agree that this verse confirm that Shaitan he will say to us in the judgment day, I am a believer. I have nothing and no no, I have no connection to you, all of you kuffar. I am a person who I promise Allah. Allah he promised you the truth and I promised you too. Allah he promised you the truth and and he uh, and he uh, and he keep his promise. I promise you and I don't keep my promise. For I have no power over you uh, to save you. And at the same time, but yet and, unless you obey me, which means unless you are a person decide to follow me. So blame not, but blame yourself. I cannot help you nor I can you you can help me. Lu, I disbelieve in that what you before uh, ascribed to me. He disbelieved that he is a saint, shaitan. He disbelieved that he is a devil. He disbelieved that he is a kafir. He disbelieved in that. He don't believe in that. Lu, Lu for wrongdoers of, 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 uh, uh, is a painful doom. So now suddenly shaitan, he is going to switch to be a prophet of God who will lecture the Muslims about their wrongdoing and that he believe in Allah. Now, for sure, by the way, here the translation is very funny and very stupid, far away from the truth in Arabic. We will show you a different translation show you, so you can see the difference. And the shaitan shall, after the affair is decided, surely Allah promised you, he will say, surely, surely Allah promised you the promise of truth, and I gave you promise. Then I failed uh, to keep them to you, and I had no authority over you except that I called you and you obeyed me. See how the translation here changed? Therefore, do not blame me. But blame yourself. I cannot be your aider, nor can you be my aiders. Surely I disbelieve in your association, uh, in your associ associ associating me with Allah. He disbelieve in that. Shaitan is innocent. I have nothing to do with this. Hello, hello, hello. Now, what does that mean exactly? Anyone knows what does that mean exactly? Who here was able to get a conclusion from this?
Anyone? You see, in order to get the conclusion, you better read the verses after uh, after that because the Muslim they will say to you, "Oh, you are cutting things off, right?" If you go in the Arabic, in the Arabic text. Allah here reporting to you what the shaitan will say but the fact in our in Arabic it's coming as a past tense not when he will say so shaitan he said when it is like it's 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 finished this is supposed to judgment so in the past but it's coming in the, to be in the future I promised you and I made a promise and I fail you Allah he told you the truth I told you I made a promise I failed you and uh, it's not my fault that I ask you to join me and you and you follow me for so don't blame me just to blame yourself hmm? I cannot help you you cannot help me I am a kafir in what you do blasphemy against Allah look what it says here in Arabic which in English doesn't come correctly inni kafartu bima ashraktumun min qabl I am a kafir in any or anything any anything or anyone worship someone beside Allah so shaitan is a Muslim. If there is any Muslim here listening, how shaitan is going to lecture us in the judgment day and he will say that he is a Muslim. I reject your former act in associating me with Allah. See, shaitan, he is a Muslim. Now, If we go and search in the Quran, <clears throat> little search. We will find from the beginning of the Quran, speak that shaitan is the source of evil. Chapter two, verse number 36, it is shaitan who made Adam and Eve go away from heaven. Uh, chapter uh, uh, 2 verse 168 Allah he told mankind oh people go and eat from whatever I as uh, assigned to you in the earth but just avoid to follow the shaitan then we continue uh, uh, same is in chapter 2 verse number 208 uh, you know uh, chapter uh, 268 uh, chapter uh, blah 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 all the Quran uh, you know is consistent about that shaitan that we should not follow shaitan okay and the Quran made it clear <clears throat> that the only one who will follow shaitan is the one which Muhammad he called them or Allah called them Al-Ghawin Al-Ghawin which means those who they are criminals Actually, Shaitan himself is one of the Gawin, chapter 7, verse 175, which means one of the criminals, one of the evildoers. Okay? And here, the funny translation they translate Al Gawin as an, one someone went astray. If you go, different translation, astray. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> Yeah, the event you are talking about who? All right. Yeah, but anyway, Al Gawin simply is somebody is going in the in the direction of crimes, and he became a criminal. So Shaitan himself is a criminal. In chapter fifteen, verse number forty-two, it says, "Inna ibadi laysa laka alihim sultan illa man attaba'aka min al Gawin." My servants, Allah speaking to Shaitan, saying to him, "My servants, you have no." Authority over them except the one who follow thee from al gawin from the criminals from the ones who they are bad From the losers from the bad, etc. So who is the one? Have shaitan have authority over only those who decide to follow thee Only all right, which mean Shaitan, he cannot force you to follow him. You have to make a decision to follow Shaitan. 
you see here the translation how it changed this is why Muslim translation is very funny so mushrikeen and those who go astray criminals do you see it this is what al-gawin mean in different translation all those words disappear this is why Islamic translation is a joke certainly you shall have no authority over my slaves except those who follow you of al-dagawin -al okay but hold on hold on anyone notice here there's something wrong anyone want to connect the dots to something we learned previously anyone notice something wrong who is the one who will obey shaitan based on the quran who is the one who will obey shaitan only the criminals who they they themselves they make a decision to follow him right this is what the verse is saying in front of us so Allah is saying to him you have no authority over which mean over who over my servant who the servant are the Muslims so shaitan have no authority over Muslims unless those Muslims decide to follow thee wonderful how Muhammad received the satanic verses Any Muslim? If Shaitan have no authority over the Muslims, only the one who follow the Shaitan, Shaitan have authority over them. How Muhammad received the Satanic verses? Are you guys getting the point? The, the, this verse confirm. This is this is supposedly God talking. This is not Muhammad talking. That's it. If the Muslim they say, if Allah wants something to be, He say be is going to be. That's it. So Allah He said to Shaitan, you have no authority over my slaves. Who is the slaves of Allah? Are the Muslims? Wonderful. So now Shaitan he stripped from any power over Muslims, except Allah made an exception, except those who follow thee. So the only way for Shaitan. To control any Muslim is that Muslim he have to follow shaitan and he have to be one of the mushrikeen the loser the criminals etc and the evildoers so how shaitan was able to give Muhammad the satanic verses because based on this verse shaitan he cannot make Muhammad receive satanic verses unless he is following shaitan Any Muslim? There is a somebody saying he's a Muslim supposedly. I don't know if he's a Muslim. He's saying when she, when Muhammad received shaitanic verses, the Quran confirmed that. The Quran. I know the Muslim they try to deny it, but the Quran confirmed that Allah is going to delete what shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad. وما أرسلنا من قبلك من رسول ولا نبي إلا إذا تمنى ألقى الشيطان في أمنيته. We never send before thee any messenger or a prophet, but if he wanted to say something, shaitan he throw in his mouth. All right. Now we have a Muslim kid. He keep calling me when I am offline, and now he is texting me. When I say to him, call me now. Look what he is saying to me. You are a waste of time, Paul. Go word your three gods, ha ha ha. First of all, you Abdul idiot. Paul is a messenger of Allah according to the stupid religion of the Islam. Do you want to call me and show you the reference so you can laugh at yourself? Do you dare to call me and show your reference? You make you read it like a puppy. Do you dare? You don't dare. So you are like a bug who keep bugging me when I am offline. When we are online, we say, call me. You say you are a waste of time and you call me to be Paul. I will be honored to be Paul. But let me ask you a question. How stupid your God is to say that everyone should follow Paul? Do you want me to show it to you? Look how he got dead now. Potatoes. We go back to that topic. Don't text me back. You can call me. Otherwise, I will block you. So the Quran confirm 
that Muhammad he received satanic verses but the Quran says don't worry be happy Allah is going to delete what shaitan he throw in the tongue of the Prophet yet the funny Muslim they will say that the story of Muhammad receiving satanic verses is a lie but the Quran confirm it are you saying that Allah is lying and look how funny the translation is that shaitan that he make suggesting he suggests to you throwing in by Satan but shaitan he suggests to Muhammad things and he throw it <laughs> oh boy it's a trial okay it's a trial Allah shaitan he do that I mean always shaitan he do that hmm? and never never we send a messenger or prophet before thee but when he framed a desire Satan threw some vanity into his desire name for me the one who shaitan gave him satanic verses before who Abraham Musa's Jesus we never send the messenger so Muhammad in order to cover his bum because he got busted by the Abdul and others you see what happened when Muhammad received satanic verses he was alone with a bunch of pagan Arab who, who he is one of them he's a pagan too he kissed black stone he go around the Kaaba so he said that the three daughters of Allah their intercession is a must so he admitted that the three daughters of Allah they are divine and they are the three daughters of Allah and then he bowed down in front of those idols and the Arab they bowed down with him but Muhammad he never thought the news will spread all over and his followers themselves they start wondering and questioning why he is lying to us he say we should not believe in those but yet when he is in the front of those Arab alone he bowed down and worshiped them and I think what happened in the incident that there was two or three of the Muslims who witnessed that by their own eyes and the news spread so fast faster than what he thought and then Muhammad in order to cover his bum from being kicked he said okay you know what hold on hold on it was not really my choice I thought this is Quran coming from Allah but I figure out later because Jibreel came to me and he told me that what I receive it was from the devil it's not Quran and look what the Quran is saying Allah is going to delete you see here the Muslims it says will cancel what what cancel is that like an order you made what cancel this is not cancel you cannot cancel it he will delete in Arabic it says yansakhullah he will delete he will erase so he will erase whatever shaitan gave to Muhammad but already the people they heard it and now we have a big question how shaitan was able to put in the mouth of Muhammad and Muhammad speak the word of the shaitan and then he bowed down to the to, 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 to the pagan gods the three daughters of Allah yet the Quran the other verse in the Quran says that you have no authority except those who follow thee are we following guys how you have no authority over my slaves and who is who is better than Muhammad between the Muslims nobody Muhammad is supposedly the best Muslim ever right he is the best of the Muslims okay if the best of Muslims he himself is following the devil and Allah says you have no authority over my followers except those who follow thee so Muhammad obviously he is following thee what do you say a Muslim saying to me can you open for me the book of John chapter 17 verse number three why you want to change the topic my Abdul what about you call me call me call me and I will read that chapter for you no problem all the problem is for the Muslims you see you see the Muslims they cannot answer what we are asking about in their cult so suddenly they change the topic the, 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 the best thing a Muslim he can do this is what they do with the Christians you talk about tomato they open a topic about potato and the potato is not really important 
but it is just to divert the topic so you will not kick the ass of Muhammad. This is the whole point. Correct? This is the whole point. If you debate a Muslim, he asks you a question. Before you finish the first question, he asks you the second question so he will not give you time to ask him a question. He is not even listening to the question he asks himself for the answer. He don't he don't care for the answer. He wanna keep you busy so you will not be able to expose Muhammad. But you cannot do that with me. I challenge you, Abdul, the one in the text, to call me to answer about this, and I will answer you. I promise in front of everybody, I will answer you about John chapter 17. I will be happy to read for you. Actually, I challenge you to listen to, to it. I challenge you. Copy copy paste nation. And not only that, Muhammad here not only showing contradiction between what he did and what he said, and the Quran promised that nobody have authority over the one except the one who follow thee. Muhammad, he get Allah busted again and again. If you remember the hadith where Muhammad speak about Moses and Adam, they were debating, you remember? Do you remember? Let's see. Here is the story of Moses and Adam. They were debating, and Moses he told Musa to, to uh, told Adam, because of you, because of you, uh, Adam, because of your sin, we are out of paradise. Because of your sin. We are out of paradise. So Adam, he answered him, and according to Muhammad, he won the debate. And he said to him, are you going to blame me for a sin Allah he wrote for me in my faith 40 years before my creation? But anyone notice here, what is the contradiction between this and the Quran? The sin which Adam he did, it was what? It was he obeying the Satan. Is that correct? Is that correct? He and his wife, they are obeying the Satan to do what Satan told them to do. Okay. But the Quran said that you have no authority over my slaves except those who follow thee. But remember, Muslim, they claim that Adam was a prophet. Is that correct? If you ask any Muslim, is Adam is a prophet? He will say yes, he's a messenger. So how nobody can follow thee except those who follow thee, except those who they are bad and criminals, and yet Muhammad and Adam, they are the same. Both are criminals in Islam. You know, the, the funny thing about Muslims, by the way, the Muslim, they differentiate between the word prophet and messenger. They say to you that word, the messenger is not a prophet. And that is very stupid. Anyone knows why? Because what messenger deliver to you? Somebody tell me. When a messenger, a messenger from God, what he deliver? He deliver what God said. Anyone knows what God said except him? No. So this is a prophecy. <laughs> He a messenger, he deli deliver a warning. Warning about what? About tomorrow. This is a prophecy. Warning you about what? About hell and heaven? This is a prophecy. This is about the future. So how in the world somebody can be a messenger, but yet he is not a prophet? That one of the madness and the stupidity of the religion of the Abdul. And Muhammad, he continued in his stupidity, and he confirmed that Musa was wrong, and Adam was not a guilty of sin. Because the sin of Adam was written in his fate 40 years before his creation. And that confirm what is written in the other verse where Shaitan he says, I don't, I, don't I, I wash my hand from you. I wash my hands from you. You are a kuffar. I'm not a kafir. You remember? Do you remember chapter 14, verse number 22? And Satan will say to them, to say when the matter is decided, it was Allah who gave you the promise of the truth. 
I too promised you but I failed you my promise to you I had no authority over you except to call you but you listen to me okay when when shaitan he called Adam based on this debate shaitan he said I have no authority over I except I call you and you answer but here you will notice that Adam he confirmed and Muhammad agree that Allah he created the sin of Adam 40 years before his creation so Adam here he did answer Allah or he answered the shaitan obviously he answered the shaitan and he answered Allah because both are one you know what I mean hello hello yes my friend uh, hello CP I'm a Muslim that's good wonderful I, I always like to hear Muslim so what do you think about what we are saying uh, I think it's uh, um, hypocritical so what do you think I mean what we were doing because, now? because the God of the Bible it is the same thing how is that I mean even if you just read uh, Romans 9 if we read what Romans 9 Roma, Romans yeah Romans 9 Romans 9 okay God, what happened uh, what happened in Romans 9 that God picks and chooses who you save or not so God he chose who he will, who he will save who he will not yeah well, and what does this have to do with our topic because you're saying that uh you know Adam did uh, these things these deeds what Adam uh, you know made him do but in Romans 9 I said the same thing how is that you know if God chose who is going to be saved well this is a decision he made based in, in who you are but it's not it's not him he would he who made you uh, follow shaitan well before the well before the foundation of the world right he knew he was gonna save right well before the foundation of the, of the world he know everything but doesn't mean that he made you the one who believe or believe not in Christianity we believe yes, that, that, no, no, listen 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 my friend listen 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 listen, 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 listen listen did Jesus say not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will is that correct uh, yeah. okay it, but the one who do his will so in order to go to heaven in Christianity you have to do the will of the father that's wonderful but that's mean that there is many they will not go to heaven why because they will not do the will of the father which mean they have their own will which is against the will of the father so in Christianity, we don't have a destiny like you as Muslims, where we are deciding what we what we will do, and we are the one who will be responsible for where we will go. In Islam, as you see, this is Adam. He did sin, but his sin written for him in his fate 40 years before his creation, and this is here a destiny, a fate. This is not God knowing that Adam will do that. So as you see here, your prophet took the side with Adam, saying that Adam, he won the argument, and Moses was wrong. Moses is the one who is ac accusing Adam that because of your sin, we are out of heaven. Do you see the hate with me? Uh, yes. Okay. D does does your prophet confirm that Adam was right and Moses was wrong? Uh, I'm not a scholar, so it doesn't matter. You see, you call me, and now suddenly you are a scholar. As a minute ago, you were a scholar. Now you are not a scholar. What I will do now? Let us see a scholar. I'm just, I just wanted to call you for your, your hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is in you because no, I showed you the, the reference in front of you. I answered you about the Bible and there's nothing to compare. And now you are running away okay. from answering. Wait, wait, why wait, why, why wait, you don't answer? Wait, how, wait, how, how, how shaitan, how shaitan have no authority over the Abdu like you, but yet Muhammad receives satanic verses. Why don't you show everyone Romans 9? Well, okay, I can show it. I can read. We can read it for you. You are the one who gave yeah. me the summary. I ask you, what or, or guys? Did I say to him what Roman nine says? He told me what it says. That's it. You told me what you want to talk about it. We know what you want to talk about, and nothing there is about that God. He is the one who made our destiny to do sin. Show me where is the verse in Roman nine where it says that God He made us do sin. So how do you want to answer? You see, you see, look, look, you you are in trouble. You you name for me things. You are you are a person who do not know even your book. So how you want to know about my book? And let me ask you: when you read the Bible of the Christians, you read the interpretation of who? Shabir Ali. 
based on in no, which you... interpretation, based in which interpretation you get the interpretation you give to me now. Who is the one who well, told you that interpretation? Most, most who is the Christian. one? Who is the one who gave most... you this interpretation? Most Christians do solace. Scriptura, don't tell me most. Right? I don't care for most. This is a lie. There's no most. There's no less. If you if you say to me that this is the interpretation of the sense. Christian, you that have to show sense. it to me. You see, when I show Muslims, no. I show this is Ibn no, Kathir. I... When I show Muslims, I say this is Ibn Kathir. This is What's the point of interpretation so, when no, in you, most, no, you have interpretation. People, you have to give me. Of... You have to give me our interpretation, not your interpretation. When I debate you about Islam, I show you what your prophet said, and I show you the interpretation of the Muslims about this, not my interpretation. So now you go away and you quote a verse from the Bible. You do not even know what it's saying. You said to me, read for me Roman 9. Okay, Roman 9 in front of me. It doesn't say any of what you said. Okay, why didn't you read it out then? You read it for me. Go ahead. I'm listening. No, I, no, no, I read you for you. No, I read for you Islam. You read for me Christianity. You see, I just read for you Islam. You do the, you do your part. I'm listening. Go ahead. Let us laugh. Why, why just, why let us, let us laugh. Let us laugh. No, I want to show you what you want to show me. Show me, show me. Show me what you want to talking about. Everybody will laugh at you. You have no idea what you are talking about. You are copy paste person as the rest of the Muslims. Abdul Muhammad is a copy paste. You are a copy paste. Allah is a copy paste. Omar Khattab is a copy. Paste. All of you are copy paste. And now I'm going to copy you and paste you in YouTube. Now you answer me. Tell me what is wrong in, in Roman 9. Show me. He decrees who will be saved and who will not. Esau and uh, I think it's uh, Jacob, so, right? Well, hold on, hold on. Read, read, for, read for me what, what verse you are reading. But I don't have it in front of me, you know. What do you mean you have it? So you are quoting me, read for me Roman 9, but you do not know what are you reading? Okay, what about you take your time and find it for me? Well, why didn't, why didn't you just put it on your screen? I don't understand. No, I want to examine your intelligence because you are the one who quoted. So you are the one who have, to, you see, when I say to a Muslim, a verse in the Quran says so, I give him the verse number, I read the verse for him, I show it in the screen. Now, you are quoting for me a verse from the Bible, show me. Well, I don't have it in front of me, so I can't. Come. Why you don't have it in the front of you? You call me preparing to ask me a question about the Bible, but yet you could not find it first. Because I, I would think you had the decency just to put it. You up are on the, the one screen, who no? have no decency. I can put it in the screen, and everybody will laugh at you. Now let, let let's see. If I put okay. it for if, why if why I put it, if I me, listen, listen, listen. If I put it for you in the screen, do you promise me yeah. to say that you are a donkey? If this is not what you say is true, do you promise? <laughs> no, no, I won't do why that. Not? No. Why not? You see, here we are debating. I can say the same. If I am telling wrong, I will say the same as I ask you to say. Why don't accept the challenge? Either you are sure from what you said or you are not sure. Are you okay, sure? I'm sure. Go, are you sure on, from what yeah. you said? So, okay, if I show it to you, if I show you the verse and you could not find me that God, he decided for us that we will do sin. He is going to right. make us sin, which means he is shaitan. He is the devil. If you don't find no, no, that, I, I, what you will do? I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying, uh, your God of the Bible, uh, he says, uh, you know, he, he will show mercy to anyone he chooses, and then he will show mercy to my friend. You know, he my won't friend, show you see, let me show you, people. let me show you how silly you are. Even the Quran says that Allah He favored the Jews upon others. That is not about yeah. God. Listen, 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 listen. God chose people before they choose Him. This is what the Bible says. God He support no. those who support Him, who follow follow Thee. This is what. This is what heaven and, and hell is about. Those who don't want to belong to him, they will go to hell. Those who belong to him, they will go to heaven. And this is why Jesus, he, he did not come only to the, to the, to the Jews. He came to everybody. I came to the people who is supposed to belong to them, but they rejected him. But everybody is, is invited. He said, go and teach and preach everybody. So Christianity is for everybody and God is for everyone. God, Adam, he was not a Jew. Abraham, That's not true. Abraham, That's Abraham was not a Jew. Was, was Adam a Jew? Can I, can I respond? Was Adam a Jew? Okay. When you were saying, I want to go back a bit. When you were saying uh, that the God of the Bible doesn't pick and choose, well, have you read John 6, 4, 4? Read it for me. You keep saying to me, have you read? Uh, okay. Yeah, I've got it in front of me. Uh, mm. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them. And I will raise them up at the last day. Busted, you know? Okay. So? Only the Father can draw them. They can't only, choose. Only what? Only what? It says here, no one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them. What does that mean? It means no one can come to the Father unless he draws them. Uh, uh, Abdul, you are reading John 6, 64, right? John 6, 44. 
John 6 I just 44. Want, I, I'd run to show you hypocrisy. That's all. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me sh let me show you the hypocrisy you are talking about. You are the hypocrite. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me to draw him, to draw you, he? to draw you. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, yeah. but he no, said, but he said, Father, but Jesus said, but, he just, but Jesus said, I came to the whole world. Hey, oh, everybody is, is welcome to my kingdom. A happiness in my in my well, father's contradiction. My, this contradiction. Is not, no, this is not. This is not for he sent for the whole world. So nobody is coming to to to, to join me. Nobody is, is is going to be to invited except the one who the father he uh, sent me to invite him. And Jesus, he came and he said, "All of you are welcome." But some they want, some they don't want. So this is not that's about God. Not, he decide. You see, you see, you are taking, you are taking things metaphorical. That's you are not, making that's it not as what God. It's saying, no, this friend, is, that's this not what, is what it's saying. saying. You know, if you want to, okay. You know, what about we do this? What about we go and read interpretation for the verse? Do you agree? Well, are you a Protestant or are you all? Listen, Protestant listen, or? Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. I don't care if I'm Protestant. All of them agree. Protestant, Catholic, all of them agree in the same thing. Well, no, because I, 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 I know Ab Abdul. Have don't the tell me. No, no, no. An Orthodox. I know. I know the three. I, I can beat you in the three. The Orthodox, the Protestant, oh, the Catholic, the three of them, three of them, they agree with that same thing. That this is have nothing to do no, with that God. No, 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 that's listen, not listen, true. listen. The Protestants three, believe in solar Don't change the topic. No, that the, the Protestant and the and the Catholic and the Orthodox, they believe in the same thing. You are a liar. That's not true. No, they don't. They don't what? What do they want? What do they want? What do they want? When you said you want to get like a, 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 a like a homily, right? To show what the verse is saying, that Protestants don't do that. What Protestants are sola scriptura. They believe that the the Holy Spirit will guide them through all truth. They they don't believe in interpretation of a of a, Abdul, of a saint. Abdul, all the Christian believe that anything have to do with the book have to do with the Holy Spirit, which means me myself. When I answer you, if I answer you wrong wrongly, that's mean I am not led by the Holy Spirit. So you are a fool. You do not know what you are talking about. All the Christians believe in that. Not I, an exception. I would say a Protestant no, listen, would disagree. Abdul, they Sorry. don't. You are a liar. You don't know what the Protestant believe. You do not know what the Catholic believe. You do not even know Islam what it believe. Now show no, me one. My, my Abdul, Abdul, let us make a challenge. Life in front of everybody. Show me one interpretation made by the Christians that this verse saying that you are. This is about you. Our destiny is made by God before you are created to be a sinner. Show yes. me. Show me interpretation. No, who can draw? Who can make someone a Christian? Can they come out their own free will? Yes, they can come. Yes, yes no. they can come. I gave you what Jesus said. Well, how come it Jesus says no said one? no, how come no, no. You see, you are a liar. My Jesus friend, said. Jesus, friend, Jesus said. No, don't tell me your friend. I'm not your friend. You are a friend, friend of the devil. You are, you are Abdul. Listen, 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 Abdul. Well, Jesus, when he said, not, not even one. There's many even they will do miracle in my name. They will say to him, Lord, didn't we do miracle in your name? He said, you did not do it in my name. You did it for your own glory. Not everyone. Not everyone. Not everyone. Will go to heaven. Will go to my father, except the one who do his will. Yes. So you have Come a choice to do his will. So please. listen, listen. You are a liar. We prove you liar. Now we go back to the topic. You're doing a monologue. We go Christ back to the topic. Respond. Why Muhammad is the Quran saying? If Muhammad is saying that the Quran saying and Allah saying and confirming, nobody can follow thee except those who follow Shaitan. How Muhammad receives satanic verses? I don't believe in the satanic verses. It's not up to you. The Quran confirm it. Do you believe in the Quran or not? Of course. So the Quran says that whatever shaitan he threw in the mouth of Muhammad, Allah will delete it. So what do you will do with that? Well, have you seen the tafsir? I seen the tafsir. Here we go. Do you want to see it? Which one? Na name the tafsir you like, and we will go and read it. This, this here we go. We are doing business now. See, I like that. When a Muslim he said, "Did you see the tafsir?" When I asked you, "Did you see the tafsir of the, uh, the Bible?" You don't answer. When I say to you, "Did you see the tafsir of the Quran?" You don't want to read it. Now, which tafsir do you want to read? Tell me. And we will go there. Ibn Kathir would, Ibn Ibn would be. Ibn Kathir will be wonderful for you, no problem. We will go to Ibn Kathir. All right. Be my witness, guys. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Be my witness. No, no, he, no. he choose. He choose Ibn Kathir. Are you serious? Are you sure that Ibn Kathir is the one you choose? I go for it. Go for it. All right. But I just wanted to clarify. You didn't really answer me on the John four. I uh, answered you. John I answered you. This is not about that God. He decided. I was well, saying. The people understand. Uh, Abdul, you cannot find. You, you cannot know, find one mind. verse in the Bible to say what you are saying. It's a lie. And in order to debate somebody it's about his religion, listen, no listen, Abdul. Abdul. In order to understand the religion of somebody, you have to understand how they understand it and what they believe in it, not what you think. Not what it's appeared no, to you. No. <laughs> this is what I do with the Muslims. No. When I debate a Muslim, I don't give them my understanding of the Quran. I give them their understanding about the Quran. The, the same as we are doing now. You are talking about satanic verses. You say to me, hey, okay, go to Ibn Kathir. 
So what about we go we go to Ibn Kathir the Christian yeah. and then we will see what we it's mean. Uh, yeah. Abdul, Abdul, listen, listen. I just I just want to say that the, the John six four it's saying no one can come to me no one. unless who yes. the Father can draw them. Ab so no one can no one can just pick. No, you understand, my my friend. No one, no one except the chosen one. Who is the chosen one? Is the one who chooses God. Those who choose God, Ooh. God chooses them. That's not what, what it's saying. Jesus said. This is what Jesus said. Jesus, he said, knock at my door and I will open for you. Call my name, I will be with you. This is what the chosen one, which means you call him, he answer you. No. You name me, I am there for you. You are a fool. You do not know what you are talking about. The Bible is not a phrase. You take it out of the book. You take all the book together so you can understand what Jesus is about. So when Jesus, he said, call me and I will answer. Pray for me, I will answer you. Name me, I will be the th every two. Mention my name, I will be between them. I will be the third. This is what Jesus said. So in order to be the chosen one, you have to call him, and that's all what you need to do. And then after you call him, you have to follow him. This is why it's not just saying to me, Lord, Lord, I will be your God. And you say to me, your God, 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 and then I will help you. No, not only everyone he says to me, God, God, but the one who do the will of my father, which means you call me God, you worship me, and then you do the will which I taught you to do. And then and only then you will be saved. Not by repeating the same as the Abdul Muslim, Bismillah, but in the same time, you are the most corrupt nation. Now we go to the Quran, chapter 22. Let us go and see. This is your Quran, and this is your choice, Ibn Kathir, my friend. All right. How Shaitan throws some falsehood into the word of the messenger. Do you see it? Do you see the title, my friend? Uh, no, my actually, yeah, it's just my screen's like 10 seconds like behind, All so right. you need to give me time. I will wait for you to see it. Tell me when you see it. Yeah, it's, it's, on, it's on the screen now, yeah. All right. Does it say how Shaitan throws some falsehood into the, uh, 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 into the words of the messenger? Does it say that and how Allah abolish it? Right. Yeah, okay. I see it. So Shaitan, he Kathir, he confirmed that Shaitan he threw falsehood and words in the mouth of Muhammad and Allah abolish it. What do you say? Well, what do you want me to say? What, what's this in well, contrast the, the, to? The challenge is how how the Quran said that you have no authority over my followers except those who follow thee. So when I say really? shaitan have no authority over you unless you follow shaitan, that means shaitan he cannot have authority over Muhammad to throw words in his mouth. Well, I don't know how to answer that, so I need to come back. What do you mean you have to come back? Stay with me, my friend. You are the one who asked me to open Ibn Kathir. Why would I open Ibn Kathir then? What, are you going to call a friend? Call him now. Call your scholar. Let him, let him join us. How shaitan... He threw in the I mouth think of Muhammad. Things to do, you know? Abdul, what things do you have to things to do? What do you have things to do? Uh, you call me a second no, ago. Said, you were said, excited. A second ago, you were excited. You want to eat me alive, and you thought you have something, and then you turn to be a balloon, having only gas, and now you want to run away. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. The book he chose for me. It says that away. Shaitan, I'm Shaitan, not away. Shaitan, I, he threw. Shaitan, he threw. Admit, admit, admit before you go. At least say Shaitan. Yes, Shaitan. He threw falsehood in ma in the mouth of Muhammad. Say it. Say and it. then Allah apologized. Be a man. Thank you. So, guys, this guy he agree that Shaitan he threw words in the mouth of Muhammad, and then Allah apologized. It. Thank you very much. But Shaitan he cannot do that unless you follow Shaitan. This is what the Quran said. How Shaitan can you throw in your mouth? Which means Muhammad he spoke the mouth, the, the word of Shaitan. Which means in this moment here, based on this story in front of us, Muhammad became the messenger of the devil, and he spoke the words of the devil, which is the falsehood of the devil. Who is the messenger of shaitan? Is the one who speaks the word of shaitan? Do you agree? No. What do you mean now? If I speak now words of shaitan, if I say don't worship God, go and do etc. Worship different God. Is it, and this is the word of shaitan. Am, am I the messenger of shaitan or I am what? Obviously messenger of shaitan. So here your prophet became in this moment the messenger of the devil. This is who is Muhammad. In your book, proven and written, and this is the choice of interpretation you choose for me. I asked you, are you sure you want Ibn Kathir? You said yes. I ask you again, are you sure? You said yes. Here we go, you are sure. So now we are sure because you are sure, because everybody is sure, because Ibn Kathir is sure that Muhammad, he received falsehood from the devil, and thank you, Allah, he abolished it. But how shaitan was able to do th so if shaitan have no authority over the devil, over, over, over Muslims?
Do you have an idea? Was your well, prof, I, I said, was your was I your, said I don't know how to respond, was, your was your prophet under drugs drugs influence? What happened? How Shaitan was able to control him? You need to answer me. You don't tell me I have no I have no idea. So you call me. You have an idea about the Bible. You want to explain to me my book, but yet the second I squeeze you in your book, you have no idea how to answer a little issue in your book. A second ago, you were a scholar in Christianity. A second ago, you want to teach the Christian, the Orthodox, the Protestant, the Catholic, what Christianity is about. And now we put you here. We asked you what interpretation you like. You have no idea what to say, and you want to go and take the highway. So what is your response? I'm, I'm listening. Hello? What is your response? I'm waiting. Muslim, know, Ab man. Muslim Abdul, did you hear this guy confirming that Muhammad, he received falsehood from the shaitan? <laughs> did you confirm with him that Allah, he abolished the shaitan words which was in the Quran? <laughs> Do you hear him saying that, yes, Allah, he took it away, but it is what it was there? Did we hear him choosing Ibn Kathir and it was his choice? Do you think this guy is a donkey? Thank you very much. Take care. Are you sure? I mean, they are so excited. They want to debate me. You are a hypocrite. The Bible says the same thing. What do you mean the Bible says the same thing? The Bible is a book. And when we understand anything about Islam, we go and see what Muslims believe in it, not what the Christian believe in it, what the Protestant, what the Orthodox. We go and see what Muslims believe. This is what you Muslim believe, and this is the choice you choose for me. A prophet of God, but yet he is receiving verses from the devil. How that can be a prophet of God. Now, after we confirm that Shaitan is a Muslim, look what Muhammad did to Shaitan. The same Shaitan who gave him satanic verses, Muhammad, he confirmed that Shaitan commanded him. Read with me carefully. <clears throat> Read carefully with me, please. Let us see. Did Shaitan command Muhammad? The answer is yes. You see, it says here, for indeed Shaitan, Shaitan, we are talking about Shaitan. All right. Shaitan, look what Muhammad he said about the devil. Muhammad he said, There is none amongst you whom is not attached from amongst the jinn, the devil. What kind of jinn? The devil. The companion said, And you have Shaitan with you too? Thereupon he said, Yes. But how Allah helped me against him, so I am safe from his hand, and he does not command me, but for good. Muhammad admitting here that shaitan command Muhammad to do good. Have you ever heard of a religion like this before? What is more confirmation we need that Muhammad is commanded by the devil? What is higher reference than the reference made by Muhammad to prove that Muhammad received command? 
you know when Muhammad he says but he does not command me but for good command we know what command mean what is the good command the devil he give to Muhammad any Muslim want to tell me like what give it charity shaitan is commanding Muhammad to give it charity so this is not Allah and now we receive the information from Muhammad himself that Muhammad received command from a guy his name is Allah and a guy his name is the devil. How that can be? This is the good devil? Muslim, do you really believe there's a good devil and bad devil? In the Arabic hadith, by the way, it says the word shaitan. Shaitan. Here in this hadith, Muhammad he confirmed that Shaitan he submitted to Allah, he surrendered to Allah, he became, he's a Muslim. Do you believe it? Have you ever heard of such a weird religion? They said to him, I look for Allah Messenger and I put my hand on his hair. This is Aisha, she's, she's getting horny. He said, Ah, your Shaitan has come to you. And the reason Muhammad he say that by the way if you have my books if you have my books you can go and get them from Amazon you will see Muhammad as an example if you read my book six and Allah where Muhammad uh, 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 he made a verse in the Quran uh, speaking about the penis anyone how many of you have my books especially the last one six and Allah Muhammad speak about the penis and he speak about when the penis is up Either waqab. When the penis go through, when when that happened, that is in the dark of the night. And what is that? And why that is happened? Because shaitan is around. And what Muhammad is talking about? Muhammad here is presenting to us that he have a sexual disability. Each time his wife Aisha she want to sleep with him, he accused them that her shaitan is coming to her. If you remember Muhammad, he said, I was the most weak person between all mankind until I invoke Allah and he sent me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it. I get the power of 40 men. Do you remember? So Muhammad here, when Aisha, she is coming to play with his hair, he said to her, your shaitan come to you. So he's accusing her to be a bad person. But the fact he is trying to avoid her need of sex because he cannot do it. If you remember in different hadith, Muhammad, he said, just to confirm what we are saying, we don't do what the Muslim do. We say things without proofs. We don't do that. Muhammad, uh, in the hadith, it says that he imagined himself having sex, but in fact, he never do so. The prophet Aisha, the same woman, she said the prophet continued for such and such a period of time, imagining that he had slept with his wives. His wives, all of them, this is not about one woman only. Imagining he has slept with his wives, had sexual relationship with his wives, but in fact he did not. The fact this one is not about Muhammad imagining, the fact about this one that Muhammad he claimed in the front of the Arab guys, those Arab, you know, they brag about sexuality, and he say, I can show you tons, actually if you have my books you will see it, where Muhammad and, and the Muslim bragging about the sexual power of Muhammad, where Muhammad used to go and sleep with all his wives in one wash. Imagine he don't even wash supposedly because he's so horny. He jumped from woman to woman, from bed to bed. And we do not know if he do it with all of them together. But according to the hadith, one of the companions, he said, how he can handle it. One of the companions said, how he can handle it, have all sex with all those women in, 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 uh, 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 in a day or an hour. What, he's a rabbit? But in fact, later they found out that Muhammad, he never touched them. And then he claimed that he was infected by the devil. And that will take us again to the same story. How shaitan have no authority over the prophet, but shaitan is controlling Muhammad by the black magic. Because as you see, this is a story about Muhammad being under the black magic.
a guy and his daughter, his name is Lubaid ibn al Asam. He has three daughters. He is a Jewish. He is from Bani Zuraiq. And he is the one who cast magic on the Prophet. And the Muslims admit that the Prophet, he was under black magic and he was humiliated by the devil. Remember, the Quran confirmed that magic is the act of the devil, but yet Allah is the one who opened the first school to teach magic. Do you remember the verses where it speak about Harut and Marut? You remember, guys? According to the Quran, because Allah He Himself is the devil, He sent two teachers who have a PhD. The same as the PhD Shabir Ali he have, and he they they went down to earth in the Babylon and they taught people how to do black magic and from those two angels the shayateen the devils they learn it. Do you see the verse? Actually, we have a debate just uh, maybe uh, ten days ago or something like that with Abdul, or maybe two weeks. Abdul, he tried to deny it. At the end, we spank him and we made him admit the same as what happened to this guy who called me a second ago. So black magic from the devil, but the devil he learned it from Allah. You believe it? Nobody can control the slave of Allah, but the but Shaitan controlling Muhammad, controlling his mouth, controlling his behavior. Muhammad even controlling his penis. Controlling his penis. I mean, how much control you want? His mouth is controlled by the devil, and this is what the Quran confirmed to us in chapter 22, verse number 52. His penis is confirmed to be controlled by the devil, and this is what the hadith in the front of us is proven to us. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is not uh, uh, this is not a weak hadith. This is not the if hadith. Hadith number six zero six three. So we have the mouth of the prophet, the penis of the prophet, every hole in the prophet body is controlled by the devil. What is left? Do we have any Abdul? Thank you for those who they are making donation. Your help is appreciated. Thank you very much. However, just remember, we as a Christian, we don't promise people who make donations that they will go to heaven. That is only in Islam because Muhammad, he worked for the devil. If you go in the Quran, you will see Muhammad because he's a fake man. He promised those who make donation that they will go to heaven. Actually, he canceled hell for them if they pay, if they pay him. You know, if you remember, Muhammad even refused to meet people in a private or speak to him in a private unless they pay him first. Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu idhna jaytumu rasoola faqaddimu bayna yadayya najwaakum sadaqa. This is a chapter 52, 58, verse number 12. Oh, who you believe, if you want to meet the, with the prophet, in consult, to, to consult with the prophet in a private, spend something, spend something. Who is the one who said that? Is that the devil? For those who got my book in the French, I see somebody says he, he, he got my book in the French. Uh, don't forget to please to make a review and tell others about my book. I hope you you know you like it. Uh, this Abdul he said he want to debate me about the Trinity. My friend, Abdul, are you sure? Hassan, the one who is texting me, the one you hang up, are you sure you want to debate him about the Trinity? You will be sorry. Do you see, guys, how they change the topic in a second? Because this topic is not good for them. Obviously, we just approved that Muhammad is a devilish man. So let us debate about the Trinity. <laughs> this topic is not good. We could not answer you what we can do now. Let us debate about the Trinity. Will call me and debate me about the Trinity. Let us laugh. But I'm warning you, I will spank you. Call me. I will call you actually. <laughs> call me. I will call you.
Yes, Hassan, mute YouTube, please. Hello. Yes, you said you want to debate me about the Trinity. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Say sure yeah. three times. Say it, say sure. I'm sure, sure three times. Sure. Okay. So, guys, Mr. Hassan is sure that you want to debate me about the Trinity. Hassan, what is the Trinity? The Trinity is um well you as in your defined in your in the way you guys say it is. Now tell me what you understand it first, how you understand it as a Muslim. Oh, I believe it's three gods. You believe it's three gods. Do you have any phrase in the Bible to support that there's a three gods in the Bible? Uh well it says um the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God, right? So what? So there's three gods. Uh, you see, I ask you a very direct question. Can you show me one verse in the Bible that says there's three gods and the Christian and the Jews worship them? No. Correct? Uh, it doesn't specifically okay. say now three I'm gods. Going to show you, now I'm going to show you that the Trinity is you Muslims believe in three gods, not Christianity. Because no single verse in the Bible says that there is a three gods. But if we go in the Quran, I will confirm to you the Trinity from, from the Quran. Hold on. Second, second piece. I have I have. Anybody. All right, we are back. Abdul, listen to me. Did the did the Quran speak about the Trinity? Yes or no? Uh, the Quran, yeah, it does. Hmm. What the Quran says? It says that there is no free gods but one. No, the Quran doesn't say that. The Quran says just to show you that you do not know what Christianity is about, and you don't even know your book. Because the Quran confirmed that the Christians believe that Allah is one of the three. He is not, they are not a three, he is one of the three. Read with me carefully. And this is a chapter five, verse number 73. Now, if we go in the Quran, we will find that number three is very important in Islam. As an example, do you know which verse deny the Trinity? Additional to this? Uh, yes, it's Surah 5, Ayat 73, I think. Okay. What that verse saying about the Trinity? Do you know? Can you, I don't know. Can you read the verse for me? Chapter. Let us read chapter 4, verse number 71. Okay, one second. Do you mind? Uh, yeah, go for it. All right. O people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say of Allah aught but the truth. Christ Jesus, son of Mary, was no more, this is between two brackets, not in the Quran, no more than a messenger of Allah. And his word, which bestowed on Mary and the spirit proceeding from him. Okay. So you believe that Trinity is a big fat lie, right? Yeah, of course. None right. of the prophets. So speak. how the Quran confirmed the Trinity in this verse then? Because look what your Quran is saying. Your Quran is saying that Jesus the Christ himself is a messenger which means as a man, yeah. and he is a spirit, and he is the word. That is the Trinity. West, 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 okay. Yeah. That is the Trinity. How you deny the Trinity in the same verse, in the same verse you, you, you confirm that one person can be three. Jesus is the man, he is the word of God, and he is the spirit of God. How are three in one? Because free, free in one's contradictionary. What contradictionary? This is one person. The Messiah is one person. Is he three person or five person? He is one person, right? Right. Okay. How he is one person? In the same time, he is a man. He is the Word. He is the Spirit. Why you hang up? Like, what's wrong with those guys? I asked him three times before we start the debate. Are you sure? Mm. 
Didn't I ask him before he start? Are you sure? No, he hang up. I wish he silence. He hang up. He's gone. So Trinity is a lie, and the same stupid book confirming the same verse, which is denying the Trinity, confirming the Trinity. How stupid this cult is more than it can be. How in the world you Muslims believe in such a garbage? There is no Trinity, brother. Dr. Zakir Naik, brother, how the Christian believe in the Trinity? Brother Tata, first of all, if you read the whole Bible, you will not find one phrase it says the word Trinity. And I told you to find me that the word Trinity in the Bible. Secondly, the Christians are copy based people and they are dedicated. If we go and read the Bible right now, if we go to the book of Dawn, you will see in the beginning it was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So how in the world the word was God and then the word became Christ? Ha, ah, tell me how. I mean, <laughs> and the Muslim like, wow, brother, you are so good. What's wrong with those people? What do you eat? What do you eat? Tell me, Abdul, what do you eat? How is stupid this God? Who said such a sentence? And like, guys, look, look what the Quran said. Jesus, not only he is a spirit, he is a spirit proceeding from him. Should I do the same as Muhammad did that? Proceeding. So the Messiah, the Christ, he is the word, he is the spirit, he is the man. That is the Trinity. Thank you very much. You just confirm to us what you rejected. Three in one. This is why I advise the Christians to learn how to get Islam busted. You see what usually Muslims they used to do. I'm sure this guy, he called many Christians before. But what the Christians would do, they will go and they will show him verses from the Bible. Let us read John, verse number one, then John 14, and then etc., etc., etc. But he's not listening. The second you spank them from their book, they go mute. One of you, he sent me a video for this guy, his kid, this kid, he's in the speaker corner, his name is Muhammad Hijab. There's two brothers who were debating him about a hadith. And the second they said to him, do you want to debate Christian Prince? He said, I don't know where he live, where he live and he left. The second they said to him, do you want to debate Christian Prince? He said, well, do you want to debate Christian Prince? No, no, do you want to debate Christian Prince? Do you want to debate Christian Prince? The second they said that to him, he said, I don't know where he live and he left. I don't know where he live. Why you want to come to my house to debate me? Do you usually go to his their houses, Muhammad Hijab? This is why those potatoes who do not dare to debate me, they ask others to debate them because they look for somebody, they have a hope that they can make it with him, not me. And those who call me is the ones who call by mistake. They don't know what they are dealing with. Now, I just remember, yesterday there was an ex-Muslim Turkish guy who watched my video. He asked me about where Shaitan, he slept with the wives of Suleiman. Is that correct, guys, yesterday? Didn't we receive a call yesterday about that? Yeah, they call by mistake, which means sometimes, you know, you hit in the wrong guy. Have you ever seen a video of a guy trying to fight with somebody, chasing him, but later he, he you know, the other guy who don't want to fight, he beat, them, beat the hell of them? This is what happened by mistake. I mean, if you knew what he can do, you will not even try to hit him. So yesterday we have a gentleman who is an ex-Muslim from Turkey. He asked me about the reference where Shaitan, he slept with the wives of Suleiman. And I'm, uh, uh, I told him, we will mention that tomorrow because this is, will go with our topic. Because remember, if if the Quran is a, is, a, is, a book, is a book of truth and the Quran confirmed that nobody Shaitan have authority over him except the one who followed thee, the wives of Suleiman, how they slept with Shaitan. How they slept with Shaitan. 
if you read here with me the story of Shay of Suleiman, and we can read this is in a story from many many places. Uh, let us see. I will try to find where the shaitan he slept with the wives of. Here we go. فَجَاءُوا نِسَاءَهُ فَسَأَلُوهُنْ فَقُلْنَهُ فَقُلْنَا إِنَّهُ لِيَأْتِينَا وَنَحْنُ حِيَضٌ وَمَا كَانَ يَأْتِينَا قَبْلَ ذَلِكَ The shaitan, he come to us and he do bang bang when we have our period. Do we have any Abdul? This is Tafsir Al-Quran Al-Azim. for Ibn Kathir. Let us see. <clears throat> Let us see actually a different one. Hold on. Tafsir al-Suyuti. Okay. Actually, the story here, if I read it for you, you will die from laughing. I mean, the story here is very funny. Do we have any Muslim have a comment about this? The story of Suleiman, if somebody have it in English, please send it to me. If somebody have the story of Suleiman in English, uh, uh, send it to me so we can read it for you in English. Here in front of us, just to give you a summary of this, this is a Durul Manthur, Jalaluddin al Suyuti, variant number five, page number 310. And this is an Islamic website. It says here that Suleiman, when he went to the bathroom, Suleiman, by the way, for those who do not know, according to Islam, he controlled his kingdom by a ring he wear in his finger. And this is something we saw in a movie called The Lord of the Ring. I think that is the ring they are talking about. So Suleiman, he controlled all the world. His kingdom, which is containing the devils and the genie, the human, the chickens, he have army, he have three armies, one from birds, one from a human, and one from shaitan. He controlled them all by the ring. Let me see if I can find any Islamic website in English. But we can read together. Instead of reading in Arabic, maybe we can get that. All right. <clears> there <throat> we go. It looked like we found something. Maybe we got lucky. Uh, this one is a small, not the whole story. I want the whole story. Um, okay, look like somebody sending me the link. All right. All right, thank you very much. Here we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I want to see where is the story of the ring here. There is no story here about the ring. I want the ring. Here, this, this is just about the magic and etc. I know I want the ring. Hold on. Because we wanna we wanna make you laugh. <clears throat> uh, 
anyway maybe it, it might take uh, some time to find it uh, Let us see here. For me, I, I, I like it more if I can find it for you in English. Uh, so you can, you know, you can see, uh, you can remember it, you can save the reference, you can, you know, it's better. Uh, in Arabic, uh, even people, they might say he's making things up. Okay, here we go. We found a little bit of the story in English translation. Let us do this. Hold on. Not exactly what I want, really, but let us see. Okay, let us see. Look like we got help to find it in English. Uh, let's see this one. All right, here we go. Thank you very much for the sister who sent me the link. One, se uh, one section of them has related long story. What does the dispute? Okay, Prophet Suleiman was either that one of his wives continued to worship the idols in the place for 40 days and he remained unaware of it, or that he remained uh, confined on his residence for a few days and he did not attend. To redressing of the oppressed people forgiveness. For this is for this he was punished as follow. As Satan somehow made a way with his ring by which he ruled over the jinn, the man, and the wind, and as soon as he lost the ring, was deprived of his power, and he remained he remained uh, uh, he remained wandering from place to place for 40 days in the interval of the uh, the satan continued to rule uh, it's a, so the story here to make it simple for you shaitan when when suleiman he went inside the uh, uh, the bathroom he went inside the bathroom let me show you this muslim website here another one the prophet suleiman power Allah had bestowed power, uh, 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 Prophet Sulaiman, alayhi salam, with certain power over mankind, jinn, and all other living creatures. Satan wanted to deprive him, uh, him of his power. So one day, it was his practice before going to answer the call of nature, which means Sulaiman now want to do poo, poo He gave his ring to a wife. They call her Al Jarada, which means the Loctus. Satan took advantage of this opportunity and came in the form of Shay Suleiman. So, Shaitan, he took the look of Shay Suleiman. I mean, it's look, obviously, this is very easy for him. And he took the ring from her and he put the ring on as Allah had decreed to bless the holder of the ring. So, Allah, he decreed, anyone who wear the ring, he controlled the world. <laughs> to have many power all ma over mankind. The jinn, the devil, submitted the shaitan. Later, when Suleiman came, seeking the ring from his women, she accused him to be imposter. You are an imposter. You cannot be Suleiman. Get out of here. Like, what the heck? Now we have two Suleiman. And his wife, she did not notice that they look the same. She did not even ask how that can be. Prophet Suleiman endured his uh, uh, with, with patience. He knew that this is, was a test from the Almighty Allah. <laughs> Ali Abdul have anything to say? Even the ring of the Lord, which we see in Huri Butar, is in the Quran. The fountain of youth, we can find it in the Carib the, the part of the Caribbean, we can find it in the Quran or in the Hadith. 
the ring of Suleiman, controlling the genies. Even the Quran could confirm that shit is Suleiman. He have shaitan. They die for him. They are Muslims, and the one who disobey him, Suleiman, he chained them. I'm not kidding. You believe it or not, Muslims? Shaitan. Look at this. Uh, oops, we are typing in English. It's sometimes you switch the language and we forget. Uh, let us see. Uh, we will search here. Let us go to this chapter here. If we go to chapter 34, look what the shaitans, they do to Prophet Suleiman. What is the job of the shaitan? You will not believe it. Shaitan here, he work in construction business. Yes. And they built for him palaces, even statues. Even statues. They built... Uh, Muslims, how how in Islam statues is haram, but yet Suleiman is making statues. Do you see it? Who is the one who made that for him? The Shaitan. Allah He gave him the flying mule. Allah He gave him the flying carpet. Allah He gave him all things. Hey guys, uh, uh, Abdul, the Abdul who who ran away, debating about the Trinity. He said to me the following. I will show you his text. Look like we are going to have shish kebab soon again. I will get my imam to debate you, CP. You are disgusting man who is Islamophobia and hate the prophet. May all you Christian be cursed of for being God for for what for being God can have a, be human have shit. The the one who have shit is your prophet and his God. This is shit, my friend. We are showing you the shit of Allah. All of this is a shit of Allah. What kind of God he say that? Shaitan, they are building for Prophet Solomon statues. I thought the statues is haram in Islam. This is shit. Don't talk about shit. And by the way, as long as you are against shit, the, the only one religion in the world who approved drinking shit is you Muslims. You're a prophet. He made you drink the liquid shit because shit is too kind solid and liquid the liquid we call it piss and the solid we call it shit how you are against shit but yet you follow a prophet he order you to drink camel urine which is nothing but shit am i wrong guys am i wrong Excuse my language. I have to say it. This is how it is. This is a religion. The, the Muslim, they made fun of us because we drink wine, but they drink piss. Now, I'm waiting for your imam to call me. Be a man and bring him. Let us see what your imam can do. You think your imam can do better? Actually, it's going to be easier for me to spank your imam. Go and notice, guys. You will never see one person who is, you know, like, let us say, he have knowledge of Islam, how easy it is to destroy him. It is harder to destroy an ignorant. You know what I mean? Debating an ignorant is a lot harder from debating someone he knows because an ignorant, you have to go down with him from zero. Like we have Dr. Dr. Imam uh, uh, Ruhi just a few days ago. Go and see what happened to him. Go and see what happened to him in the debate, the debate before the debate before the debate before the debate. Go and see what happened to the Imam of the Shia in Michigan, the head of the Islamic Center of USA. Go and see what happened to the head of the Islamic Center of Tennessee, Dr. Nabil Baikli, and the Imam Malik Sar. It's very easy to barbecue someone have a knowledge. Go and learn, my friend. We have history. And this is why they are afraid to debate us. Where is the big Abdul? So the shaitan, the shaitan, they built for him 
palaces, the statues, uh, uh, you know, a swimming pool. I mean, what is that? Huh? What is that? This is Suleiman in control of the devil. All those stories Muhammad he copy from the legion of the Jews. He believe in them, and because he is a false prophet, those are fiction stories, stupid stories. Only donkeys can believe in them. Even flying carpet. Have you ever heard of a religion believe in flying carpet? Look, the Quran speak about it, but they say that our Lord. Uh, well, hold on. Where, where's the wind? Hold on. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> you know, uh, we, we we mentioned the story of uh, of the hoodhood who disappeared because he was looking for a woman who have no hair in her legs. <laughs> By the way, I'm single. I'm single, and uh, my name is Muhammad. I like to find a woman she have no hair in her legs. <laughs> Look like at that time, women they used to be like monkeys or chimpanzee somehow. I mean, why you need to travel from 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 place to place, from continent to continent, go from Asia all the way to Africa to look for a woman she have no hair in her legs? Like what? Is that how hard it is at that time? Thank God I'm not exist at that time. Imagine you are exist in the time of Suleiman and you go to the beach. Unbelievable. I will not go there. All the women wearing bikini and the hair in their chest, the hair over their legs, and they are they scare the hell of you. Man. This is only those things happen in Islam. It's very beautiful religion, brother. Very beautiful religion. It's the best. Uh, do we have any Muslim would like to call? Mayday, mayday. Don't forget if you like our page here to subscribe. If you are already subscribed, don't forget to unsubscribe because this way Allah will give you extra blessing. وَمِنَ الشَّيَاطِينَ مَنْ يَغُوصُونَ لَهُ وَيَعْمَلُونَ أَمَلًا دُونَ ذَلِكَ Look what the jobs for the shaitan. Additional job which nobody can do better than them. Chapter 21, verse number 82. They go and they dive for Solomon so they can get him jewelries from the deep sea. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? The shaitan go and dive for him? That is a perfect cartoon. Do you really Muslims believe that shaitan was diving to, to go down and bring David and Solomon to bring them pearls? Or Solomon specifically here? Huh? Shaitan, what you brought to me? Sir. I dive in the deep sea and I found you this big ruby. Ruby, you went seven hours downstairs all the way deep in the ocean. And you come back with one ruby. You want me to believe you? Open your pocket. Please, sir. This is everything I got. Open your pocket. Flip your pocket out. Open it. Open it. You cannot fool me. I swear. You swear by what? You are the devil, you idiot. Open your pocket, show me everything you have with you. You went down seven hours and now you are coming back with one ruby? I don't believe you. Okay. Look like I have no choice. Here we go. My pocket. See? It's empty. Take off your socks. Take off your socks. I don't believe you. You hide them somewhere. Okay. But sir, I'm not wearing socks. I'm the devil. Ah, you don't wear socks. Okay. Take off your panty. Sir, this is not right. It's haram. What haram, you idiot? This is a private inspection. Open, take off your panty or I'm going to force you. Okay, see? What is that there between your legs, you liar? You said to me you have only one ruby. Sir, those are not rubies. Those are my balls. Uh, what? Huh? So why they are shiny like that? Because I slept with your wives. You forgot. 
You forgot that he slept with your wife. I mean, why you are asking him to take off his panty? This is the religion? And you crazy people believe in this? Shaitan, he go down and dive to get him the, 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 the pearls and the rubies? Is that what Shaitan is for? And not only that, Suleiman, if you don't obey him, if you are a Shaitan, and if you don't obey him, he put you in jail. He cuffs you. Is that right, Muslims? Or I'm making things up? Hmm? Chapter 38, verse number 38. Shaitan who disobeys Suleiman, Suleiman, he cuffs him and he put him in chains. Is that right? Do you see it? So if you go diving and you take some rubies and you steal them and shaitan, you do that, Suleiman, he will put you in the chains. You think shaitan is free? See, in the time of Suleiman, shaitan was really humiliated. No, my friend, I am not Egyptian. I'm black, blonde, African-American from Japan, looking for a brand new wives between the age of six to nine, like the Prophet Muhammad. Why are you asking me where I'm from? Is that important? Learn my knowledge, not where I'm from. Who is next? This is a religion? If this is a religion, then what is fiction? If this is intelligence, so what is a stupidity? Huh? What's wrong with people? How in the world a human being can believe in such a thing? I mean, seriously, people, they have mental issue to believe in this. And yet, the trinity of the Christian is a problem. The trinity is a big problem. All this madness in their religion is not a problem, but the Trinity obviously is a big, big, big problem for the Abdul. I mean, obviously, it cannot be true, but this is it true. Shaitan is in jail, Shaitan is diving to get him rubies. A prophet Suleiman, he have a flying carpet, can carry five, six, seven hundred thousand. According to that, to the interpretation. The flying carpet of Suleiman can carry how many chairs? Who remember? Who remember? Anyone remember? How many chairs the flying carpet of Suleiman can carry? Six hundred thousand chairs. Thank you, Sidewalker. 600,000 chair in the top of flying carpet. Even my father, my dad, who is the cousin of the cousin of the cousin of Suleiman, and he have a ring of the Lord, and he have all the flying, the biggest flying carpet in the world, he cannot even have 50,000 chair. How in the world, Suleiman, he got 600,000 chairs in the top of flying? It's not even fair. Why Allah did not give my dad the same size of a flying carpet? And now because we have only 50,000 chair, it doesn't even fit my family. So we can go and seek refugee in Germany and get a free food and free electricity and free insurance. And we call the kuffar, the German, we laugh at them. This is not fair. How are you doing, Mr. Faisal? You want to call me, Faisal? Mr. Faisal, you want to call me? No, no, don't write to me, Mr. Faisal. Call me. I don't answer writing, please. I have no time to answer writing because a lot of people text me. It's endless. You want to talk to me? Here we go. This is your chance. Call me right now. You are more than welcome. I will treat you nicely, nicely and you know we will share together a good time. Who is a Muslim would like to call? We have 400 people li listening and not a single Muslim on a call.
Hello? Hello, Mr. Sipi. How are you doing? I'm fine, my friend. How are you? I'm good. Uh, you are Mr. Sipi. You call me the legendary Faris, right? I okay. don't call you. I don't call you legendary anything. I just create Faris calling. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I know about that. You can call me. I mean, the, there's a lot of people. I mean, just not calling me the legendary. They shouldn't call me the legendary. Okay. Um. Mm. Okay. I have checked. I have checked just a couple of videos of yours. Mm. I was interested a little bit. I mean, a lot of my friends told me that there's someone uh, Arab Christian suppose is talking about like about Islam. Mm -hmm. So I just, I mean, I just pick up a little bit of. I check out a little bit of your videos, but with all due respect to you, my brother, just give me a few, uh, one minute or two minutes maximum. I find out, like, um, uh, with all due respect to you, I find out that you are a little bit lying on a lot of things. Give me this example. Is my, you, Give us example. Yeah, okay. Um, one of the proof that I have checked a lot, one of your title that you called, I mean, Muhammad, peace be upon him, he raped, he raped his <laughs> wife, Aisha, radiallahu anha. Ha, now, the question is to you, Mr. CP. Hmm. Um, with all due respect, I'm not um, uh, insulting or anything. If a man slept with his wife, does that mean he raped her? Yes or no, my brother? Well, if the if the wife is a wife, not if she's a child, a child no. should not know what wife is. Who who no, you no, know no, what no. what how how a woman oh. she become a wife to somebody? How a woman she become a what? wife? Don't she have to agree according to you? Oh, all right. Do a woman all need right. to agree first to 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 conceive the the contract of of sex, which is marriage? No, to, okay, to, I'll respond to that. <clears throat> um, uh, just pl please, just I mean. Just I'm, say I'm answering, yes you, I'm no, answering yes. you, I'm answering you, I'm answering you. You are the one who opened the topic. You are on the one who yes, yes, okay. yes. Uh, so go up, Aisha, at the age of six, yes. at the age of six, can she agree? Oh. Can she agree about oh. sex or this has happened without without her agreement? The answer is, um, like, uh, there is this, I mean, uh, the Christian, with all due respect to them, they accuse the Muslim, they say, the, why did, like, Prophet Muhammad, he, he married a little sick, a uh, little girl. Hmm. At that time, uh, CP. At that time, I mean, it was called urf, okay. a tradition. No, show me uh, one he, person. Uh, name for me one person. At that time, he married a girl at the age of six years old. Go I, ahead. I, no, I, would, I, will, I will be honest with you, director. I don't know, but like, let me tell you this. So I how mean, you know? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. How okay, you know? CP, CP, how please. you know, my friend? How please, you know at that second. time? No, no, no. We have a discussion. Uh, okay. Conversation. Okay. You will talk. How oh, you yes, know? Yes. Because you see, I am a person. Who go word by yes. word? I don't like to throw a bunch of words and go. I I, I will go after you. No, Every no, word you say, no, be no, careful. I'm not you said to me, I'm orf. You know what orf mean? Orf mean tradition, correct? The word orf is a tradition. Yes. Okay. As long as tradition, it's it's mean it's it, it, it's popular. I am asking you to name for me one person from popular habit used to happen. Okay. You cannot. So why? Because it's not uh, popular. Even no, even, okay, even even when okay, Muhammad okay, go ahead. even when Muhammad he went to marry Aisha. Do you know what what Abu Bakr mm -hmm. he said? Did Abu Bakr right away he like it or he said but she but I am but I'm your brother did he say that to him? Uh, about that sorry I know brother let's go see, uh, point by point you can't mm. prove me wrong please mm. I mean guide me to the light if I'm on the wrong path. All right. Uh, that's uh, my first point my brother. Uh, you see uh, about like I said I don't know with all due respect I'm I'm not that much strong of the Islamic as well as the uh, biblical things mm. but this is what I know if it is was a skin or I mean you know a bad way. The people of the Mushrik on the Mecca, they will accuse him, they will laugh at him because they were waiting uh, for anything bad that Muhammad, peace be upon him, to commit. Anything bad. They were waiting for anything bad. Like I said, it was a common thing at that age because in Islam, we don't have any specific age. You know what I mean? In Islam, we don't have any specific age. The woman, if she, can, if she were aware and she can handle, handle a sexual thing, that's fine in Islam. Even nowadays, it's fine, no problem. But I mean, right now, from community to another community, it's been different. You cannot apply what's happened before 1400 years ago, right now. So it, like I said, my brother, it wasn't an earth. Let me and ask you, let, let me, let me ask okay, you, let me ask you. Do you know a woman, her name is Ummu Habiba? Um Habiba, she's uh, uh, the daughter of Abu Sufyan, The daughter of Abbas. Abu Sufyan. Abbas. Abu Sufyan. Abbas. Mm. Abu, okay, no problem. Uh, right. As far as I can remember. Okay. Muhammad, was, um, Muhammad, well. Muhammad, when he saw mm -hmm. her, when she was nursing, she was nursing. Okay. He wished her to be his wife. Uh-huh. Oh, what, do you mean, see, uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? This is a this is a little this is a little baby. This is a little baby. She is. She wait is. Minute, she, my brother. She is my, brother. my friend. You are, hold on, okay. hold on. You just said everybody no heard you. Everybody heard you. Yes. You said there's no yes, age right. for marriage in Islam, right? You said that. Indeed. Okay. Indeed. Uh, and yes, then you I, said, uh, and you I said it's a tradition. For okay. Is it, is it a, a condition? Is for it that a tradition? Is it a tradition to wish a baby she is nursing from her the breast of her mother to be your wife? 
um, um, CP, I, I gave you, you see, there is a tradition, but there are also... My friend, a lot my friend of first of all, the Arab, they made fun of Muhammad everywhere and they speak against him. That's why they refuse him. This is why he went in war with them. What are you talking about? This is why he left Mecca. This is why they broke his teeth. Let me ask you, who is the one who broke the teeth of Muhammad? Uh, bro, sorry again. Can you repeat? Who is the one who brought the broke all the teeth of Muhammad? They broke all his teeth know. because they laugh at him. They throw him by rocks. So Muhammad, listen. So Muhammad was rejected, and they laugh at him. And you are saying to me, so why the the, mm -hmm. the people at that time did not make fun of him? They did make fun of him for he is doing nah, crazy nah, stuff. Nah. He, he was can accused. He was accused six yeah, times in the Quran. He was accused six yeah, times in the Quran to be. To be Sipi, crazy, is that correct? Is, please, is I that mean, correct? I'll now listen, 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 listen. I want to go with Sipi, you. Hold on, hold, hold, on hold on, hold on, my friend. Hold on, my friend. My friend, hold on. Let us say, brother, let us say, patient. let us say the Arab they used to sleep with cats, not only with six years no. old girl. Let us say <laughs> that. Like that. Okay, I mean, you them, are on. telling me that Muhammad is a prophet of God, guided by Allah, but yet he want to sleep with six years old baby. Um, God for CP, I just already told you at that time it wasn't an earth thing. You see, I, I cannot give you a name. Do right Muhammad now, follow the was, Arab? This is a good is, question. Is Muhammad a CP, follower CP, of No, 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 no. Did Muhammad come Wait with religion or he is a follower CP. of the tradition? No, 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 Did Muhammad did Muhammad follow the tradition of the Arab? Did Muhammad follow the tradition of the Arab or he come with his own Islamic tradition? CP, you see, I already told you about this. I want an thing. answer. No, no. Either you say to CP, me, Muhammad CP. was a follower of the Arab tradition and he practiced Arab tradition, yes. had nothing to do it with Islam, a, or the marriage thing, is CP. the marriage. It was of, a common thing. I know. I want an answer. I want an answer. Is the marriage to What's Aisha the, in early age is it a tradition uh -huh. of the Arab, the yes, pagan uh, Arab, or it is a tradition of Islam? You see, uh, like I said, it is in Islam or as well. Also in the Arabs. Both, so that will say. not make Muhammad because safe from the like accusation, said, my friend. Listen, uh, CP, even if you say so, you, not, even if you say, response, even CP. if you say so, CP, CP, CP. you have to explain on, to me. Listen, on, listen, remember, brother. remember. Wait a minute. Hold on. You are the one who called me, says, you, I said, Muhammad, he raped Aisha. Listen, 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 listen. You said, I, I said, you said, I said that Muhammad, he raped Aisha. I said to you, well, if you sleep with a girl at little age, is she is that right rape now, or this is a, this is a sexual between adult this is a child so in order to marry a woman you have to get her agreement did she agree to have sex did Aisha agree oh. to have sex CP. okay CP. like i told you uh, uh, wallah i don't know uh, without respect but please i mean just give me that i mean to the chance to respond no problem but please i want an answer did aisha agree at that early age you see you are talking about things have, not, have, see, have, have nothing go. to do with the topic I, mean, whenever you, I want an answer did aisha agree at the age of six to be married to muhammad either you say her, her agreement see, is not valid and nobody uh, asked her did anyone uh, ask her not, did anyone the, ask her to marry muhammad the chance to respond wallah you know, you just uh, no, I want you to you. respond, but don't talk about other things, please. I, Do you promise how me? Can I answer to your question? Okay, go ahead. Keep go ahead. And, and focus with me with the you question, see? please. Focus with me with the yes, question. I am. I am. Did anyone I am. ask Aisha if she will marry Muhammad? She accept or she refuse? Anyone ask her? The, the mic is yours. Oh, you see, I don't wait a minute. Wallah, with all respect to you, I cannot. I mean, the connection of my I, not trying to run away, God forbidden. Mm. I, I cannot hear you. I mean, you just I mean, keep interrupting. I do not get your point. But as far as I know, can you keep it short and pass uh, your question short? And just okay, a few make, words, let please. me make it short. Let me make it short. Did anyone ahead, ask Aisha? Did one any, anyone uh -huh. ask Aisha? Do, are, do you like to marry Muhammad? Did somebody came to her and say, Hey, Aisha, there's a guy, his name is Muhammad, he want to marry you? Yeah. Did yes. anyone came to her and he told her she that? did okay okay I got your I got I got mm -hmm. it uh, you see she did not reject and and there's nothing there is nothing I mean uh, I, uh, approved from Islamic sources or also, also anti-Islamic sources, but this is the anti-Islamic sources. There's no such a source that uh, that Aisha radiallahu anha she rejected that she didn't. She was happy actually uh, the, you know, about why should like I said told you before. There is no specific age for the Aisha, and you see he, he uh, I don't know how to translate the word, but Khattaba he been to six sanwat, but dakhala aliha been to tisai sanwat. Uh, I, ho I hope you translate it from for the benefit of my Christian brothers. Okay, are, I don't you, know are you to, done? To... Are you done? Because now you excuse me, I yes, did not give yes. you time. My friend, you Go said ahead. you said she did not refuse. Mm -hmm. I, I did not ask you if she refused or not. Because how she will refuse if nobody asked her if you want to marry or not?
Aisha, she was Aisha, she was playing with her friends when her mother she took her and she took her to Muhammad. She came to her and she took her to okay. Muhammad. Is that true or no? I, you see, I don't know. With all respect, I don't know. Like uh, I have not checked the uh, the hadith, but I, I will assume it is correct. I will assume it. My friend, do you speak Arabic, right? Do you speak Arabic? Yeah, no, no, no. Let me read for you. And he okay, said, and, and Abi and Aisha رضي الله عنها قالت تزوجن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وأنا بنت ست سنين سنين فقدمنا إلى المدينة فنزلنا في بيت في بني حارث فتوك فوعدت فتمرق شعري فاتسا ترى اتسا ترى. So and then okay. she said, فأتتني أمي أم رمان وإني لفي أرجوحة ومعي صواحب لي فصرخت فصرخت بي فأتيتها لا أدري ما تريد. بي فأخذت بيدي وقالت وحتى أوقفتني على باب الدار وإني لأنها لأنهج حتى سكن بعض نفسي ثم etc. ثم then she enter enter her into the Muhammad and she this is your wife and she gave it to him she gave Aisha to him do you see Aisha okay. she, Aisha she okay. have no idea what's happening she is playing with the swine with the swine she is no, playing with no, her I friends nobody told her okay. you want to marry this guy yeah. you don't want to marry this guy I'll leave. the girl I'll let, she is I'll let you finish. okay, okay. The, the hadith in the front of us this is your muslim translation she is playing with her friends she is a child she have no idea she is six years check, old i will check also she... okay so how oh, is yeah, the word yeah, this is okay, sahih bukhari yeah. let me give you the reference my friend so you don't say i'm making things up it's it's Here fine it's fine i believe you it's sahih fine. Bukhari, let me tell you three eight okay, nine four the it mic is yours okay go ahead uh, you see, uh, I don't know without respect, Allah to UCP. Mm. Uh, so far, I, I don't know why you guys, I mean, the Christians, I mean, not, not accepting this thing. Like I said, I mean, I, I already I already answered. I, I don't want to, to repeat this, this, the same, I mean, the same thing. Mm. Like I said, it was a tradition. It was a, and she was the only bigger. She was the only like young woman uh, from out of all the uh, Muhammad wife, Muhammad's peace be upon him wife. Mm. She mm. was the only one. Why? I mean, God, now what? Okay, my CP, just give me a place, one minute at maximum place i mean uh, he why you see god command muhammad peace be upon him to marry her where he, uh, muhammad where 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 uh, show me show huh? me show me where where allah he, guys uh, no, allah oh, like i said hold, hold on hold on hold on hold on, uh, hold on guys did you hear okay, did you hear this gentleman he said allah command muhammad to marry her look at this joke show me I, i'm sure of that i'm sure about okay, show, me. See, show, me, show, me. Have, show me show me show me no I don't have the references so right now. What do you mean the reference? Inchal. How Allah command him? How you how you say such a thing, my friend? Come on. You see, Jibrail salam, he came to him. Gabriel, you call him Gabriel, peace be upon him. Jibri Jibriel is Gabriel. the one who uh, who came to Muhammad and said to him, Mary Aisha. You see, what is Gabriel's mission? He like I uh, said, uh, uh, from God to Muhammad, peace be upon him. Oh, Muhammad, like that. Listen, no. listen, my friend, you are missing why? the story. You are why? mixing the story. The story no, about no. Allah he ordered him, the okay. only women he ordered him to marry from Allah, uh -huh. it was Zainab okay. bin Tujahsh, not Aisha. I, I, I will check that also. It, right. You see, this is, I would like to, I mean, to have a conversation with you because there are a lot of things I don't know. I'm sure maybe you have, I don't know whether it was, I mean, making this thing or not, I, would, I don't know. But it's, it's a great thing to chat with you. Anyhow, um, about this one, like I said to you, I mean, God, I will not forget about whatever I was. Uh, it's about Aisha. Let's go back to zero. Let's go back to zero, my friend. Hold on. Okay, relax, okay, relax, okay. relax. Okay. okay. If you, well, if, you, if, you really, if, if somebody, nice if somebody really brought to, for to, you, to, be honest with me, be honest with me. If somebody okay, brought to you, brought to you a girl, she is six years old. Uh -huh. Is this six years okay. old like capable of understanding even what sex is about? Right now. Here, here. There are our, sorry, I have to interrupt you. Do you mean right now? I will not accept. It's a common no, thing. No, 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 like no, no. It's not common thing. Show me, show me the proof. Previously? It was common thing. Uh, listen, uh, my friend. Show me in the time okay, of Muhammad. It was common thing. Name for me one person who like was encouraged. Name what, for me. Not, name not, for me one person yeah, 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 in yes, the tribe I, of Quraysh. He I, have like a child point. wife. Go ahead. Uh, CP, I already told you I'm not much strong, but I don't know. Also, it, uh, like we see what we have been told, and what I know, it was a common thing. Like, it, if it is, was like I told you before, if it was a skin or something bad, the people of the Mecca, the Mushrik of the Mecca, will accuse him. They would laugh at him, but they didn't. My I don't friend, know they accuse him, and we are accusing him, and accusation never stopped. They, they no, 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 you see. No, I, I can uh -huh. show you from the Quran. They, they keep accusing him, they keep uh, making fun of him. From the Quran? Go yeah. ahead, please. Here uh, we go. Well, it will be great. Okay, here we go. It will be great, my it's, brother. It, wait, wait a minute. Everything wait Muhammad, a minute. he said. My said. connection is a bit lagging. Just wait a minute, please. Um, it's not showing. Um, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Hmm. I hope it shows. Okay. Read with me, Kevin. Go ahead. 
Oh, can you? I cannot. I mean, nothing appeared to me. I don't know. Chapter um, fifteen, verse number six. Read it for me. Uh, CP, just one uh, little uh, piece of information. We are not dealing like chapter six for. We are dealing with surah. I mean, can I break the Quran? It's chapter of Al Hijr, Al Hijr, verse number six. Uh, uh, can I bring my Quran? Just give me uh, ten sec no seconds, problem. maximum. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank right. you. Thank you. Just give me a second, please. No thank problem. you. Guys, please invite your friends, get some popcorn. We have here a, a nice Muslim. He is trying his best to defend Islam. And he will prove to us that Muslims and Arab, they were not laughing at Muhammad. Uh, hello, CP? Yes, I hear you. OK, uh, which chapter, please? <laughs> al <-Hajar, laughs> verse number six. Uh, just a uh, second, please, just a second. <laughs> Oh, stuff. Uh, okay, just where is Al-Hajr? Um, <coughs> um, so, okay, uh, it's in, uh, okay, 262, just a correction. Uh, which verse, number 62? No, chapter 15, <laughs> verse number 6. Al-Hajr, uh, verse number 6. Almost five. What if I turn Ali in Baba in the فَضَلُّوا فِيهِ يَعْرِجُونَ لَأَقَالُوا إِنَّمَا سُكُرَتْ أَبْصَارُنَا بَلْ نَحْنُ قَوْمٌ مَسْحُورُونَ أعوذ بالله سبحانه وقد جاءنا في السماء بروز وقالوا يا أيها الذين الذي نزل عليه الذكر إنك لمجنون Ah, about that verse, let's wait a minute Is it in Hijja? Wait a minute, wait a minute Which verse? Which verse again, please? Six Ah, six, six Ah, okay وقالوا يا أيها الذي نزل عليه الذكر إنك لمجنون لو ما تأتينا بالملائكة إن كنت من الصادقين so okay. what, what they said uh -huh. to him, they said to him, you are just a crazy guy. Yeah, you see, uh, I don't, uh, you see, as far why, as I know, why, was, was, why he was accused to be crazy. What he did exactly. <coughs> he, he was preaching about the unity of God. I mean, they did not accept no, it. No, they listen, say, you're listen, a listen another reason. This is another reason, because he says crazy stuff. Uh, as an example, uh, you're a prophet. Okay, okay hold on, yeah. hold on. You're a prophet. Okay, he, okay. he, he, he claimed mm -hmm. things. Nobody can believe in it. As an example, we just, we finished reading about the flying carpet. About what uh, the flying, the, can fly, translate it? the flying carpet, the can flying carpet, Al Bisatu Tair, Al Bisatu Tair, Bisatu Suleiman, you know, and the Arab they said to him, about? Has he assaulted uh -huh. this, okay. this is the this is the legend of so don't believe, um, CP, sorry to interrupt you, but don't you believe about the miracles? I mean, you see, my friend, do you uh, believe really? Uh, hello? Do you hello? believe, do you believe hello? that this is a miracle that there's a guy he have a he have a flying carpet can carry 600,000 shares? Do you think this is a miracle? You see about the, I don't know what you will, you see, it, it was not, a, as far as my knowledge goes about the Sajjad, I'm sorry to, to I mean, so it's in Arabic, I don't know the translation in English. Hmm. Uh, it, I don't, I don't believe it was his miracle. It was maybe for previous other prophets miracle. I don't know about what his, give me another example that it was a, a, a crazy thing. As what, far as my knowledge about, was, What about the sunset in the murky water? Uh, yes, what is, you see, uh, wait a minute, just a second. Uh, well, I have memorized it also. Wait a minute, can you give me the reference? It will be great, also. What, uh, what reference for what? Uh, no, about, about this, it is you see, it, it appears it was the story of uh, of uh, Dul Qarnain, right? Yeah, 1886. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, but Wallah, we are not dealing with, uh, with mm. the Arabs. I'm telling, I don't mm. know, maybe the Western Muslim Western do it, like, but with the Arabs, we're doing that surah and the verse. Sorry about that. Uh, anyhow, um, about about that one, it appears to him. I mean, uh, where it says appear to him, where it says appear to him, show me. Uh, okay, okay, can you give me the reference? Wallah, it will be great, my brother. Chapter of Al Kahf, verse number 86. Okay, 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 mm. okay. <coughs> Where's Mr. Pin? Just sorry about that, Mr. Pin, how are you? Okay, so, Surat Al Kahf? 1886. Okay, Surat Al Kahf 86. <laughs> okay, Surat Al Kahf. Uh, give me, Allah, sorry about that, uh, CP. Just give me. No problem, take your time. Oh, uh, sorry about that, really. Surat Al Kahf uh, 293, okay. Uh, 293, 293. Stuff for Allah, Okay, uh, which verse again? 1886. Verse 86, number 86. 86. Okay. So it's 86, 86, 86. Uh, Isn't it? Okay, I found that. Thank you so much. Audi Bilal Shtarajim. Hatta Ida Balaga Maghrib Shamsi Wajadaha 
وجدها you know the appear وجدها you are Arab like me. وجدها مين؟ I mean, he found it. He found it. Okay. He found it. Who is this? Who is the one is talking? Qarun. You see, wait a minute. I'll stop. Not Qarun. Dul Qarnain. Dul Qarnain. Who is the one saying? Who is the one saying وجدها? Who is the one saying وجدها? This is not Dul Qarnain talking. This is Allah, right? Yes, Allah okay. described. So Allah, him. He said, Allah described. so Allah he said he found it. So the one who said wajadaha, no. it was Allah, not the well, Quran. You see, you see, uh, my my brother CP. You see, you have to know also like uh, the Arabic language is so strong that in one word, you, uh, I don't know if you know this information. Friend, do you speak in Arabic one, better than me? Uh, uh, well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. She knew how the she knew how عليك بالحذر عليك بالحذر يا هذا. عليك بالحذر ترى ترى فيها اسمع 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 اوكي ليت 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 سي اوكي ليت مي اسك 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 سو يو وانت سي يو وانت سي هي 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 ثوت اوكي ليت مي ميك ات شورت يو وانت سي هي ثوت ذا سان سيت ان ذا ميركي ووتر ار يو سين ذا هي ثوت ات ابيرز ات ابيرز ات ابير تو هو ات ابير تو الله او تو الكسندر ذا جريت ات ابير تو هو No, Alexander the Great is not what we be believe. Like he was Dhul Qarnain. I don't know. Maybe the Christian is mixed. Well, I can show you from like the interpretation. It says the the Dhul Qarnain is the one who built the city of Alexandria. You see, I don't know. This is our search or more. No about problem. It, no. See, no, okay, okay let's go. Let's go back. Let's go back to zero. So who is the one? Yes, yes. Who is the one he found it? Mm -hmm. Who is the one who found it? The sun set in the murky water. Is that Dhul Qarnain or Allah? So, you, like I said, you, my brother CP, uh -huh. Allah described him. Uh -huh. What CP has, I mean, has, what has CP, astaghfirullah, what uh, uh, the have, I mean, so, on okay. that, I mean, okay. whenever you're in so, the, no the problem. beach. Guys, be, my, be my witness, be my witness, be my witness. Come on, come on. Allah, Allah, Allah he Allah, described, he, Allah described what Zul Qurnayn saw. So why he is describing to us what he saw wrong? He did not. Wait, 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 what do you mean by it's wrong? Okay, Zul Qurnayn, Zul Qurnayn, I mean, my friend, Zul Qurnayn, Zul Qurnayn is not wait. is not talking yet. Zul Qurnayn is not talking yet. Allah voluntarily saying to Muhammad, "Tell them I will tell you about him." And now Allah is telling us what happened to him. You see. So now about, he about. found. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you to make it simple. Do you think anyone okay. he believed that the sun set in a murky water is a stupid? You see, I don't know where you're going by that. I'm asking you. I'm asking you a specific no, question. Either you say yes, either you say yes, or you say no. You say if you if you Muslims, if the Quran, if the Quran and you Muslim don't believe in that, then say yes, say yes, say yes. Be a man, be a man and say yes. Say anyone believe the sun set in the water is a stupid. You, Allah, you keep interrupting. Allah, the Christian. I am not interrupting you. I want an answer. I want an answer. I don't allow games. I want you to say to me. The one who believed I that the sun set in a murky water is a stupid. Say it. You are saying no, we must don't believe. Okay, let me make no, it simple. It. Do you believe? Do you believe the sun set in murky water? Yes or no? No, I don't believe. Why that. you don't believe in that? You Tell see? me why. Tell me why. Why you don't you believe see, in that? It's, it's, why you don't believe in that? It is illogical. I would say. Okay, illogical, guys. Did he say <laughs> illogical? Did he say illogical? This is number one. So it is illogical. Give me another reason. No. <laughs> Second reason. Allah what? My Little bit, give what? me mercy, CP. Uh, no, mercy, no, no mercy, no mercy, no mercy, no mercy, no mercy. I remember. I, I'm going, to, I'm going to, to take the answer from C your throat. Okay, number C one is not logical. Number no, one no. is not logical. Wait number two. What, what, you see, what is number two? This is not good. Bro. Give me number Allah, two. What is the reason? Number you know, two, you don't believe in it. What is I, I what? mean, and yet, with all due respect to you, you're what trying to like. What is the reason uh, number two? Uh, bah, 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 bah. CP, this is not. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. What See, is the I'm reason? Very kind of after what? what? Real, I'm giving you what? the chance. No. I did not interrupt you. I don't go want ahead. a chance. I will not give you a chance. Don't give me a chance. I want answers. This is what we want. What is number two reason you don't believe that the sun set in murky water? Do you think this is stupid? No, I would not go for. You see, as long as you see, one condition is as long you cannot. I mean, one plus one. It, if it, if it is illogically wrong, you will not going to find another reason. So it's That's stupid. It. So it's that. stupid. Okay. If, so if, are if you it, okay? So, logical, so let me ask you. Let, let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Search, let me I mean, ask you. Deeply, if somebody, if, simply, if there is a Muslim, if there is a Muslim, like, like listen. Call, CP, Wallah, CP, What's your name, Ya Faris? Ya Faris. I mean, you're a great Christian. No, no, I don't give you a chance. I know Muslims. The Muslims they talk too much. They say nothing. You know, I no, I no, speak no, no. to Muslims for more than twenty I, years. I, I, don't agree with I know how they do and what they do. So now I want an answer. Do you agree? Yes. If somebody is a Muslim and he believed the sun set in the murky water, 
this it's guy is logical you see and so you are saying he is a crazy i know you are saying like that, you are saying he is a crazy do you agree that uh, the one I, who believe in that I, is a crazy you see cp cannot um hello when somebody believes in something I, illogical do you think he's a crazy either you say yes or you say no you see, uh, if it, yes, I would say. You see, okay, thank you very much, guys. It's thank you, thank you. Can he I, just said the one who believe in that is a crazy. You this see, is what far, this as is as what your prophet said. It's your prophet who said in the hadith that the sun set in a murky see, water. I, I, I know Read it. I know it. You see, no, God, no, no, you no, see no, 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 no. Don't tell me. Don't don't tell me. I know what you do not know. What you never heard of it. Read with me carefully. Everybody heard you saying. That the one who believe in this garbage is a crazy. I told you Muhammad was accused of to be crazy. No, People see, laugh at him. You don't believe in me. Read with me. See, not me Abi Dawood. No, I know that. Hadith. I was I've, sitting I've behind the messenger of Allah, S A W S B M W Mercedes Benz, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, "Do you know where all this set?" Hold on, hold on. Don't, don't stop me. Let, let everybody laugh. I replied, I replied, hours. Allah and his messenger, messenger knows best. And the apostle, he said, it's set mm -hmm. in a spring of warm water. Hamia. Do you see it? You see, you see about that hadith, wallah, it also confirmed as it is, it's, it's, it's been like uh, in the Quran, it cannot be uh, being <laughs> away of, from it. I have also just, I mean, it's confirmed the Quran. The Quran, Quran said that he found it sun, sitting in a, in, a, in a murky water, and the hadith confirmed what is in the Quran. Uh, CP, you you CP, did lie to me, CP, you did lie to CP, me, CP, saying he thought okay, it appeared okay, sitting in a murky water. CP, okay, you know what? Let's oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want you, I want you to show me why. One like interpretation. No, no, hold on. I want you to show me you one interpretation. Want... I agree with you. You see, I get you busted. I get you. You're a prophet I mean, saying, you, I get you. you. No, I, I have, I have, I have no time. To... You, you just want to talk. Sorry. You see, here we give reference, we give a proof. You just want to shout, and I have no time for this. I'm giving you a chance to answer, and I finally, I force you to say the one who believes in this is a crazy. I got what I want. It's your prophet. You lied to us. You said this is not what it's meant. So look like you know what the Quran meant more than Muhammad. It's a shame, my friend. It's a shame to deny what is written in the Quran, and then we find that Muhammad himself believed that the sun set in a murky water. You Muslims have no shame. I accuse you, all of you, to be people without shame. You are insulting your prophet. You are insulting him. You are saying he's a crazy. You are saying it is illogical. You are saying whoever believe in this is a stupid. And now your prophet saying that. And the second I show it to you, you don't want to read it. You lied to me. You said it was Allah reporting how he saw. That's a lie. Allah reporting what he found. وَوَجَدَهَا Not he thought. In Arabic, I speak Arabic better than you, better than your teacher, better than your prophet. Wajadaha, wajadaha means he found it. Found it is about a fact. Allah is making a report. Allah is not telling us his side of the story or any other story. He said to us, he found it. It's not Alexander the Great. He's saying, I found it. And that will make it like now, okay, maybe he thought it is sitting in murky water. And then we find that Muhammad himself explaining that. Do you see, guys, how hard it is to debate with Muslims who want to play games? You have to lose your voice, you have to shout, and you have to be consistent. Don't ever let the Muslim get out of the topic. They will jump like monkeys from a branch to a branch. Debating a monkey is easier than debating a Muslim. Because he will do his best, so you will not hold him. He called me and he said, I saw one of your videos and you are lying. As an example, you said the, pro the prophet, he raped Aisha. Well, when you have sex with a child, this is a rape. A child who do not know what sex. Hello? 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 
When a man he is 54 years old, he take to bed a child. Is that a rape? How you call it marriage? Hello? Are you there, my friend? Hello? Please do some testing to your microphone before you call me. So, Faisal, you, you did expose your prophet. Here we go. Your prophet is saying the truth. Your prophet, he said in different hadith, that the sun goes from point A to point B. Voluntarily. So when a Muslim he says a Christian prince, he lie. You have to prove it. I challenge any Muslim to show me where I lie. Right now we are on air. Call me and get me busted. It was a tradition at that time that Arab they have sex with the children. That is a big fat lie. Show me. I am an Arab. I'm not coming from the moon. You can say those lies to somebody is coming from China. I just had a book, it's called Sex and Allah, and you will not see in anywhere in my book, which is I'm referring to all sexual before Islam and after Islam. Nowhere people have sex with the children. Is that correct, guys? I made a full study about sexuality before Islam and sexuality after Islam. No Arab have sex with the children. When Muhammad, he wished to marry a child, she is an infant. Her name is Ummu Habiba. How he, how he can do that? Shame on you to accuse me of lying when your prophet is the one who keep lying. As an example, Muhammad, he claimed that Aisha, he, she is the only woman he receive inspiration in her clothes. How is that? Muhammad, he wear the, the clothes of Aisha. And then he get inspiration. That is a madness, my friend. لا تؤذني في عائشة فإن الوحي لم يأتني في وأنا في ثوب امرأة إلا في ثوب عائشة. Don't hurt me in Aisha. I never received inspiration from Allah in any woman clothing except the clothes of Aisha. Do you see it? You you claim you claim you speak Arabic, don't you? The Muslim they translate. Look at the translation, how it's changed from the cloth of Aisha to what? Look at this. Uh, I said, repent to Allah from her for her. Uh, look what Muhammad said. <clears throat> then he said, don't hurt me regarding Aisha as divine inspiration. Do not come to me in any of the beds except that of Aisha, where it says the word bed in Arabic. Where in the world the word beds is coming from? It says in Arabic, thawb, cloth. Muhammad he claimed, look at this lie. Muhammad he claimed he never received any inspiration from Allah except in the clothes of Aisha. The Muslim they try to deceive us. They say, bed, what about receiving inspiration in the bed of Khadija? Only in the bed of Aisha, but Aisha he married her three years after the death of Khadija, which means he is already a messenger of Allah for many years. So for at least four years, Muhammad, he don't have, or let us say, not only, uh, since the time Muhammad, he is out of Khadija, and uh, plus the time he was married to Khadija, all those years, Muhammad re never received inspiration. 
and the hadith says I never receive inspiration except in, in the clothing of Aisha why Muhammad wearing her clothes and why you Muslim lie in the translation you say it is about beds where is the word beds if false if Faisal now this guy who speak Arabic if he call me I challenge him to call me and to read for me does it say thawb does it say cloth the inspiration never come to me in any clothes of a woman except the clothes of Aisha. And what this hadith is about? The wives of Muhammad, they are asking him to be just and fair and to treat his wife equally. And the Muslim, they lie to us. They say, Muhammad was the best of mankind and he treat his wife equally. Read the story. The wives, they send the daughters of Muhammad asking him, why you don't treat the wives equally? Why? All what they want from you is to treat them equally. That's it. Muhammad, he allowed Aisha to take all the gifts. They are fighting over money. The wives, they are saying, this is not fair. Treat us, treat us equally. And they send him many, many, many people to talk to him, including his wives. They send, they went to him many times, and then his daughter. And all what they want from him is to do treat them equally. And Muhammad don't want to do so. This is a prophet of God. How this can be a prophet of God, such a man? And look how the Muslim translation guys change. In this hadith here, I never receive in any except in the blanket of Aisha. Now it's a blanket. <laughs> Muhammad, he wear, Muhammad, he wear the blanket of Aisha and then the inspiration come. Only in the blanket of Aisha. Yes, my friend, how are you? Hello, my friend. My name is Valerio. Um, I have some question. Also, I'm not a Muslim, so if you have another call, you can hang up. What do you want to share with us? So I just have some question, three question, because I'm debating with some Muslims, and um, we have we had the topic about Allah's shame in Quran 68 verse 42, and. I, he says, so I'm not sure, but I think he's, he said to me that in Ibn Kathir it says that it's the shin of uh, Muslims and not Allah. Who is the one who said that? One? Uh, a friend of mine. Uh, oh, did you ask him where you got this from? Yeah, Ibn Kathir, I think, but I'm not sure. No, when, when, no, it's not about you see, when you debate with Muslims, ask him to give him to give you a reference, which means it's not Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, I have many books. Tell him where, what value, uh -huh. what page, uh, you know, interpretation for what, what verse, you know. Get reference, and, and you see, Muslims, they throw things at you, and they yes. hope that you will not go investigate. So when he says something to you, uh, you have to squeeze him. You have to say, where? Show me. No, 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 show me. Where, where, Ibn Kathir? Show me. The same. Okay. You, you see what I'm doing with the Muslims now? Yes, I, yes. Don't, I don't let it go. He say a word, I go after him. Because this is what the Muslims do. They throw 20 words on, uh, on you in order to deceive you and uh, you know, look like they gave you an answer. But the fact, not only that they did not give an answer, they will never answer. And now they yeah, give you I... more confusion answer. So don't let them get away with it. When he says something to you, ask him where we can find that. Yeah, he he didn't even have an answer because he had to ask his imam. And then I showed him uh, the the book of Sahih al Bukhari ninety seven and sixty five hadith sixty five, okay. and there is explicit uh, there there stands his shin, also the the shin of Allah. Yeah, and um, 
he didn't have an answer and his imam didn't A either, then he had to uh, search another imam and he told him uh, a video. If you want, I can show you, I can show you this video, uh, which he, this imam, I mean, it's a video which it's, it's a doctor, I don't know, doctor, I don't know. And he says there's um, a chain of, uh, how to say it? Um, a chain of, I don't know how to say it in, in English, because English is my, it's not my mother language. No problem. Um, my, my, my friend, listen, listen. Yes. The Muslims, they might say whatever they want to say, but this is not the question. The question is, uh, when when the Muslim, he say to us something, and he said to us a video, even the video have to mention reference. It's not just mm -hmm. a video, you know? And the same time, there is many videos right now, we can go to YouTube, and you will see the Muslims speaking about Allah have a hand, Allah have a face, yes. Allah have etc. Those are Muslims. So tell him, okay, answer this guy. Don't answer me. Is this guy? He's yes. a scholar. Is he? Is he lying? When Allah, yeah. when when those scholars says Allah has a hand, you know, yes. are they lying or this is true? When they say Allah has a shin, all the scholars agree. Allah have eyes. Allah have mouth. Allah have shin. So the Muslims are not denying that. This is why I said yeah. debating the, the debating the ignorant one is the hardest part of any debate. Because he don't know what he's talking about, he is just defending, but he does not know defending what. You know? Yeah, the problem in the video is that this doctor didn't even show proof or uh, sources. Yeah, he just he's uh, just my, talking my, my for friends, ten minutes. A, there is a video. I don't know if anyone of you guys remember what the video I made. It's about uh, who is Allah, and I show the videos in the, the hand and I show the reference. If you can find that. Uh, I'm sure the, the guys that are listening, they will find you that video and they will give it to you. Watch it. You will see a lot of reference about why Allah have a hands. Actually, this guy here in the in the front of us, his name is Sheikh Faiz. Yeah, see, yes. I, I, I've this, seen this. In this video. Yes. Okay, in this video, there's reference. But uh, in, in his another... video, if you go to his video, yes. all his video, he, he is giving you reference that Allah have a shin. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, I know. So then when the muslim he say this is not what it's meant then i'll tell him answer this guy this is your scholar this is not this is not me it's not a christian prince this is not a hindu this is not a jew those are your scholars saying allah have hands allah have a shin allah have a leg allah have five fingers you know so what yeah, do you they, do now this is our say, problem yeah they say he's lying he's lying okay, just he's lying. like so our, everybody is lying but, so you muslims are yeah, I know, I know. if a muslim he says those muslims are lying say then how i can trust you if you muslims do lie to us about islam if Muslims yes. lie about Islam when they teach Muslims, how they can be trusted to teach about Islam when they teach to Christians? This guy is, is teaching an Islamic school lying to the Muslims about Islam? Yeah. Doesn't make sense. The, the funny thing is that um, my my friend also said that not all things in Sahih or Bukhari are uh, true, which which can be corrupted. My friend, all Islam is corrupt. I agree. Yeah, I know. All I of Islam you. is corrupt. And, <laughs> the, and, no, no, and, and no. then tell him how you call it Sahih. Do you know what Sahih in Arabic mean? Yeah, it's, it's um, incorrect, authentic. authentic. So how you call the book the authentic Bukhari when when the Bukhari is not authentic? That means yeah, you Muslims sure. are stupid. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. And just another question uh, for me um, in your book, uh, I think deception of Allah. You talk about the freedom of Bilal. Hmm. Uh, Bilal was the slave of uh, Muhammad or Abu Bakr? Well, you know, obviously, when Muhammad he passed away, uh, mm -hmm. Bilal he stayed in the house of Aisha, you know, and Bilal was serving Aisha. So Aisha now is the owner, and the one who control is the uh -huh. is the father of uh, of Aisha. So based on the hadith, actually, it it looked like as if the as if the buyer he was Abu Bakr, because he, yes. Bilal he said to him. If you bought me for the sake of Allah, release me for the sake of Allah. If you bought me for yourself, keep me for yourself. But I think that the, the word bought here, he is not talking just to Abu Bakr. He's talking about if they bought him, you know? I mean, why, yes, you, yes. why you bought me? Because Muhammad, he promised him, Bilal will go to heaven and etc. Yet, yet Bilal still is a slave. And here you will find from this hadith alone that obviously Bilal is an, a, very, a very unhappy person and he is asking them to keep their promises. Otherwise, why he need to even to ask for it? Why they don't even release him alone? Why? Yes, you see, yeah. I'm, if I'm a good person and you are my slave, and I wanna, you know, I, I am against slavery. I'm not going to wait for you to say free me. Yeah, you know? uh, I will say I'm free. So now Muhammad he pass away, 
and it's still the poor guy begging for his uh, 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 freedom. Yeah, in the yeah, that's uh, Sahih Bukhari, um, book sixty-two, hadith hundred two. Can we just read it together, just what because is, what is the Hayy saying? Tell me, I don't really um, remember. Uh, it's it's uh, I don't have it. Uh, you have to tell me what the hadith. You know, I remember the hadith. I don't go because all those numbers. By the oh, way, okay. let, let me tell you okay. about the numbers. All the numbers we see in the front of us, those are not really accurate numbers. Those are the numbers based on the way they made them now. But in uh -huh, the okay. Arabic is not really the same. You know what I mean? Okay. So when you yes. tell me, you need to tell me the hadith so I can get it. It's not just like in the Bible. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. In the Bible, um, we have exact numbers, exact numbers. Yeah, sure, change. Yeah. Sure. Anyway, you yeah. can remember it and you can call me later. No yeah. I, I, no, no, I have it here now. I just open it. Okay. I have a list with, with all your um, references from your book. So uh, it, said, it said, Bilal said to Abu Bakr, if you have brought me for yourself, then keep me for yourself. Mm. But if you have brought me for Allah's sake, mm. then leave me for Allah's work. Right. And and in the previous one, um, you, you use also sunnah.com or not. Yeah, in uh, you can type in your um, browser mm. um, just one verse before it, also um, not hundred two, but hundred one. I don't know what I'm talking about. What, what, I okay, okay, about. I, I will read it for you. And the, the verse, uh, the hadith, hadith before this, it says, and "Umar used always, to when say, you say verse. When you say verse, you mean Quran. When you yeah, say hadith, sure. it's yeah. different. Okay. Yeah, I mean hadith. I mean hadith. Um, I will read it for you." The, verse, uh, the hadith before says, Umar used to say Abu Bakr is our chief and he manumitted our chief, meaning Bilal. And some some Muslims say that Abu Bakr freed Bilal. Well, yeah, this. Yeah, let us say let us say they claim they have first they have to show us. Yeah, the they, claim, they, they claim they, they, they have to show us the reference. What we have that Bilal is still is a slave and Muhammad is dead. And you know the question is why Muhammad did not free him? Why? Well, even if Abu Bakr he free him, uh, uh, Bilal he served Muhammad all his life. So Muhammad now is dead, and yet Bilal is not free. Why he did not free him from the first day? You know, did Muhammad die and still he owned many slaves? Yes. How many slaves he, he have? We do not know how many, but there is many. And yeah, and, and yeah. all the caliphate, uh, Umar bin Khattab, he was beating a slave for covering herself. So slavery it always continue until now, the year 2018, you go to Libya, you go to Mauritania. Mauritania is the biggest Islamic country with slavery. More than 80 to 85 percent of the population are slaves now, today. And the stupid okay. word, they allowed Mauritania to have an embassy in their countries. There's an embassy of Mauritania in France, you believe it? And this country, more than 85 percent of it, is slaves how in the world mm. that can happen so if you go to libya there's tons of thousands of black african slaves right now as we speak nothing changed in syria just until, until a few months ago isis they have tons of thousands of slaves this is islam my friend not they are when isis they capture people and they take them as slaves that's what muhammad did this is what the quran approved and this is the practice of islam yes at the same time, the, when, when a Muslim when a Muslim he says to you that as an example in Islam, if somebody uh, uh, commits sin, the Quran uh, forces him uh, to free a slave. You see here, even that is not because Muhammad is against slavery, because he supports slavery. Because now people they will you know the, the Arab they love their slaves. When I say they love, doesn't mean they love them to be nice to them. They love to own slaves. Yeah, so sure. when when somebody commit a crime, the it's a penalty. It's not a reward. It's a penalty to the Arab guy. Not a reward to the to the black guy. You see the difference. Mm -hmm. Muhammad mm -hmm. is not yeah. doing it for the sake of the black people. Is so is doing it as a penalty. As an example, if you kill a Muslim by mistake, or let us say you 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 claim it was a mistake, to avoid that mistake from happening. So what I will do, I will say to you, if you do that, if you do that, I will force you to free a slave. And then the Muslims, they will behave and they will not kill somebody by mistake. But that was not a reward 
to the slave what well, that was a penalty and now the Muslim guy he will free a slave but he will go and buy a new one yeah chapter 4 verse number 92 it's like saying you know in order to your sin to be forgiven you have to sacrifice a chicken so what do you need to do now you need to go and buy a chicken so you can sacrifice the chicken yeah sure you know so he free a slave this is what helped Muhammad because Muhammad himself he used to sell and buy slaves there, there's also a hadith which um, I read it today. I don't remember it word by word, but it says that uh, there was a, sla a slave which was freed because his master was dying or something yeah, like I this. I think you and have more reference in my book. If you continue, wrong, yeah, yeah, you sure, will see more reference. Anyway, sure, my sure. friend, let us see. I see somebody trying to call. Thank you for calling. Okay. And thank you for to much. call me anytime you wish. Yeah. Also, thank you very much. God bless you, You're Christian. Welcome. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Do we have any Muslim have the courage to call? I saw someone trying to call. If you are a Muslim, please call me. You see, this is what people don't understand. The Muslim, they try to fool you, say, as you see, Islam is saying, if you do that, free a slave. This is not about reward for the slaves. This is this is a penalty for the one who commit the crime and reward to Muhammad. Because you free a slave, you have to go and buy from the Muslims a slave. It's like those guys who sell uh, uh, the, the one who do voodoo if you go to Jamaica you know you want to do voodoo you go to the voodoo guy and outside he have like 100 chicken he tell you in order to do voodoo you have to provide a chicken and now you have to buy a chicken from him so he asks you for the chicken to be provided so you can buy from him it's not because he is not being nice to you to uh, to anyone he is just trying to make more money and there's many reference about Muhammad enslaving people after being freed by their masters their master he freed them muhammad he made them slaves again do we have any muslim would like to call us any muslim would like to call me and get me busted before i would go mayday mayday last call my friend take it from me when i say islam is the most stupid religion i'm not insulting a God who teach people that there is a penis and I will increase your penis to be in this is not God. That is a stupid. A God who says to you that your wife ass will be one mile. That is not God. And that ass is a scary ass. I don't want to even get close to it. Imagine your wife ass is one mile. How big his, her poopoo will be? How many tons? What if your wife with one mile ass, she farted and somebody's smoking behind? Do you know that farting is a flammable? You will be burned like a barbecue. You can burn a city. You can use her fart as a chemical weapon. One mile ass. How, how dare you Muslims to believe in such a madness? A woman and her ass is one mile. Make it half mile. Okay, you know what? Where you are going to find a panty for her? What about her bra? What if she jump in the top of you? I'm not going to speak dirty. You know what I'm talking about? If the ass is one mile, her is what? Is bigger than a lake, a volcano? How you Muslim believe in that? How you believe that Shaitan he sleep in your nose, he piss in your ears. Shaitan he play with your anus. Shaitan round himself around your penis and he do your wife. A Muslim guy to confirm the prophet that is not telling a lie. If you read my book, you will see he entered the bedroom of his wife and he found fire in her bushes. Why? Because she was sleeping with the devil. Imagine the, even their lie to confirm a lie of Muhammad. His wife, she have a fire in her. Why? Because supposedly with shaitan is made of fire. You remember, right? So when his wife, she is making, having sex with the shaitan, obviously her bushes will go on fire. We, 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 the fire department coming over to your house. Why, 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 why? Because your wife, her bushes is going in fire because she was having an affair with Mr. Shaitan. How in the world those people believe in this madness? And yet they say to us, brother, Islam is the only convincing religion. I'm very convinced. Are you kidding me? I'm truly, truly very much convinced. I will go to heaven. I will have 80,000 version 
eighty thousand, and all of them they have the same look, the same face, the same voice, the same eyes, the same name. All of them, their name is Hur, Hur, like like a whore. I mean, what the point of sleeping with eighty thousand women if all of them they look the same? How you will know even which one is the one? What the point if they have the same hair, the same eyes, the same face? Guys, in the heaven of Islam, let me make it simple for you. In the heaven of Islam, all of us, we will be 30 years old. All of us, we will have the face of Joseph. All of us, we will have the age of Jesus. All of us, we will be white like pearls because it's not allowed for black people to enter the heaven of Islam. There is a beast, it's called a Jassasa, will hit you with the stick of Moses and the ring of Solomon, and he will make you black. So all the men in the heaven, they are the same height, the same look, the same face, and all of them, they will be exactly one copy-paste of each other. Question, if women look the same, men look the same, imagine you enter a dating website. Huh? You enter a dating website. You see the first profile. The first profile, his name is Joseph. He is 33 years old. And then he have his picture. All right? Let us see. We want to find somebody. Uh, we will call him Joseph. Which one is Joseph? I'm looking for a picture here. In the front of me. Okay, this is Joseph, but this is not three years old. Hold on. <laughs> just this is just for fun, okay? We I do not know who is this guy. This is a picture from the internet. Those are for uh, free stocks. So imagine this guy is Mr. Joseph. He's a Muslim. In the heaven, all of you, you will have. He is thirty-three years old. He, all of us, we will look the same face. The same mustache, the same beard, the same age, the same height. So Joseph, he will make a profile. Hello, my name is Joseph. I'm 33 years old. And in the profile, you find my picture. I'm a Muslim. I believe in Allah. And I am white. You go to the second profile. You find the same picture for the same guy. Hello, my name is Joseph. I am 33 years old. I am etc height and etc weight it's the same exactly as the previous profile so the whole dating website have pictures of women and men all of them is two pictures only all the women have the same picture all the men have the same picture all the profile is exactly identical the man will be 90 mile tall and the women she will be 30 mile tall which is very funny and very stupid it's like one and zero. The man will be twice taller than the women, and he will be so thin. If you if you have my book, you will read those references. And this is supposedly the convincing religion. Then you go to the the topic where where Islam speak about the hur. You know, Muhammad in the in the hadith he described for us the hur. The hur in Islam is. Amazingly stupid. Based on Muhammad teaching, this is how the whore look like. Let me show you some pictures. <clears throat> and I am not exaggerating with this. I will show you the reference, and actually, people they will post the reference for you. Those who keep coming to our uh, program, they knew what I'm talking about. Women in Islam, they will be see-through. So imagine the profile picture of women is a woman like this wearing high heels. You can see through her bones. Because Muhammad, he confirmed that they are so white to the point you can see the marrow of their bones. If we go in the hadith, you don't believe me, here we go. This is the hadith. Let's find it.
Here we go. This is how Muhammad described the wife of the beautiful wife you will have in the heaven. And by the way, the number changed, depend on the reward. Sometimes you will have two wives, sometimes 72, sometimes 80,000, depend. So read with me that the Huri, the wives of the Huri, they are so beautiful, pure, transparent. They are what? They are transparent, see through. You can see the marrow of their bones, of their legs will be seen through the, uh, through the bones and the flesh. Do you see it? I'm not making things up. This is what Islam teach. And yet they want to fool you and they want to say to you, Islam, a religion makes sense. Islam is the only religion makes sense. Islam is a racist. Islam is disgusting. Islam is a, make women only as a sex object. You see, I understand that we men and women, what, what we have between us, there is a sexuality. This is how we are made. God made us male and female. But God did not create the women only to be a sex toy for the man. She is his sex joy, not sex toy. And he is her sex joy, not sex toy. And sexuality was to provide babies and family, not just for to be porn. In Islam, because Islam is a religion of the Arab who they are extremely racist, they always don't like black color. So Muhammad he was extreme in his false promises that the women, they will be extremely white to the point you can see through their marrow, the marrow of their bones. And this is why when I show you those pictures, don't be surprised for this is what Islam teach. I'm not making things up. This is what Islam. Women are sex objects, sex toys, and they are made so white so you can enjoy the whitening of those women. It was an Arabian order for a bride, the Arabian who don't like black color. And all of us, we knew that your beauty has nothing to do with color. There's women who they are black. They are so beautiful and so wonderful. And even there's many white women. They wish to have the beauty of those black women. Same for the men. Since when black color or white color will make you good looking or bad looking. But because this religion is extremely racist. No black is allowed to enter the heaven of God, which is in this case Islam. And women, they have to be, it's a must to be so white to the point we can see through the bones. And why I need to see through the marrow of their bones. Anybody can tell me why we need to do so. He have to mention that to make them die for him. Because those Arab, they are extremely in love with white women. And when I say love, this is a lost, it's a sexual lost. And when Muhammad, he promised the Muslim men their, their wife will be have one mile ass, you might wonder why. At that time, the Arab, they were obsessed with, you know, like overweight, I don't want to use the word fat, overweight women. Because at that time, they've been, they've been taught that women who have a, 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 such a heavy weight, it means they are healthy and they can make babies. A woman, she is a skinny, she is not a spoiled, she is not from a good family, she is working hard, that means she is not from a rich family, and she cannot give babies good the same as the other women. So the woman who is overweight is the best, to the point we have, until now, we have Arabic songs saying that a woman, her name is Lala, She the, the camel came down to carry her, but he could not carry her. Why? Because she is so beautiful. And what is her beauty is about? because she was extremely heavy. So this is why Muhammad, he made them extremely so white to the point you can see through their bones and extremely overweight. Do you now understand what is the reason behind, behind the, one, uh, the one mile ass? Do you understand? Beauty, beauty, by the way, change from time to time. I mean, the way people, they see beauty. Not long time ago, if you are chubby, you are more beautiful. From someone, she is so skinny. If she's so skinny, they say, ah, look at her. She's bones. Today, you know, which is a stupid, you know, a woman, she, she keep going and diet to the point she can't even walk. And supposedly she is a model, which is she looked like a dead woman. They fool women to, 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 to force them to do things. 
you know they put in your mind that this is what make you beautiful so you tr you try to fight your body try to lose weight you keep losing weight you lose weight until you die and then after you die they will make fun of you but every generation every certain time the beauty on the beauty of uh, view of a beauty change it's like the same as the underwear you know in the 16th century the underwear was so long like the pant and then it shrink then it became after a few centuries to the to the knee after more centuries became up to the to the west and then after a few centuries it became uh, uh, nothing so like the the the, the underwear is shrinking 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 until now it's nothing and after some time you will see the underwear will go back to be longer and longer and longer and longer because a human being is weird and anybody can play with his mind and Muhammad is a mind player. He knew the mentality of those people at that time. He knew how to drive them. This is why the Quran promised people that in heaven there is no heat. Imagine you say that to somebody who live in Alaska or Norway. He will hate you. But Muhammad is speaking to people who live in the desert. So he promised them there is no heat in heaven. You will have an air condition. Faisal, call me again. Guys, Mr. Faisal, he's saying I lied. Look like Faisal, he need more spanking. Call me, uh, call me Faisal. Call me live now and get me busted. Call me Faisal. If you don't call me, I will call you. You just said, I am lying. Guys, did he say I'm lying? Did Faisal say I'm lying? Where is the where is the number of Faisal? Which one he called me with? <clears throat> is that the one you call me with, Faisal? Far leg. <clears throat> call me, call me. Yeah, go ahead, Darvis. Go, go ahead. I think this guy will never call. He learned his lesson. <laughs> Let us take this picture off from the screen. Otherwise, the Muslims will flood our program from everywhere. They will get excited. Hello? Hey, CP, how you doing? Hey, my friend. Long time no see. Yes, it has been a while. All right. How are you doing? Everything good? So far, uh, first, it's been a while. Is my connection good? Am I clear? Yeah, we hear you. We are fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been a couple of issues uh, to come up. That I wanted to mention. Okay. Um, the first thing um, I saw the video you posted, I guess maybe a month ago, when you were just casually walking down the street in France. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> and you decided to stop it and talk to the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh huh. <laughs> and I saw it. And I was like, now why did he do that? He knows Jehovah's Witnesses is not ready for that. You I, just, you I, just was, like I wasn't planning, out. honestly. I was, you see, I wasn't planning. I, I, I said to myself, let me record a video for you guys to see where I am. You know, it's not really, it was not, I have nothing to do. I wasn't even expecting them to be in my way. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, but it, was, it was their destiny. <laughs> if, you, if you remember yeah, the video, I was saying, so you guys are Jehovah's Witnesses. They said, yeah. I said, uh-huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I'm like, man, <laughs> I guess he just felt like knocking somebody out is going to be an easy win. I <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm not looking for an easy win, oh. honestly. No, I'm not looking for an easy win. I always win. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm going with who. But, uh, but uh, they were in my way, and uh, they were looking at me, actually, you know? So uh, and yeah. then I, I passed them and still they are looking. So I said to myself, okay, it looked like they're inviting me. 
without knowing what they are going to face. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, fast forward a bit um, to the guy today. Um, I don't know his name. The guy they called earlier and the first guy, I guess, because now the second was supposedly his mom, right? What second? Yeah, hello. Guy? What second guy? Because the first guy you called, he was he uh, mentioned like Romans nine, yeah. And then he went to like John six forty four, yeah. And and then the second guy called. The second guy was supposedly the mom of the first one, right? Mm -hmm. Or was he just somebody completely different? No, no, it was a different person. I think. No, I think it was the same person oh. he called twice. Maybe uh, you are talking about the last one, the one who called it at the end. No, this is a different person. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, ah. but but this guy he called twice. The one you are talking about, the one who called the verses, he called twice. He called a second time to talk about the Trinity. First, yeah. first time he called, you know, he called to us Roman, but he did not read it. And then he hang up, and then we uh, he called again, and he supposed he challenged me to talk about the Trinity, and then he hang up again. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I wanted to make a comment on that. Uh, a couple of comments. Um, mm. The first thing, it, it was completely off topic. I think you were talking about why um, is Satan a uh, Muslim in Islam? What yeah. that was the, the topic. Yeah. And and he calls in and he goes to you know well, um, God picks who he wants. <laughs> you know I, I don't see how those two topics are related. Um, if, by, by by the way, by but, saying that he confirmed what I'm saying. He agree, but he's trying to say that we Christian believe in the same thing. He's not denying, you know, he is confirming, but he is just saying, okay, don't you Christians believe in the same thing? Which is not. Yeah. No? Yeah, well, well now, yeah, firstly, that, that's a logical fallacy because just because even if he believed the wrong thing and we believe the wrong thing too, doesn't make that doesn't make what right. he believes right. Yeah, that doesn't you know, make it. It just means right. we both wrong. Yeah. You know. But now, secondly, it's not the same thing, though. You know, in first thing I, I would say, and you shouldn't do it like this. You really, the right way to understand the scriptures is to walk all the way through them, the whole chapters from verse one to the end, all the way through. I know Muslims miss that because the Quran was revealed in verses sporadically in bits and pieces, and it's not coherent like that. But the Bible speaks really is written in books. You really should read the whole book, you know. But if you're going to try to break it down for study purposes, you really should do the the whole chapters at least. But I would direct him to I think it's Romans 10, where it mentions how can they hear, um, how can they change, how can they believe and accept they hear, and how can they hear except someone is sent, you know. Basically, the point is the gospel is sent to the people. Those who accept the gospel are coming to Jesus. And Jesus will raise them up. He completely missed that when he um, quoted John 6, 44, you know, the second half of the verse. And I will raise them up. <laughs> you know, yeah. Jesus says point blank. He's the one that raises the people at the end. You know, but the point being, if you hear the gospel and you are learning the truth, you're coming to Jesus. You know, that that outpouring of the Holy Spirit through the gospel, that is the Father drawing you to Jesus. That is the point. And the whosoever will, they said the whosoever will might be saved. The whosoever will, that those people are saved. All of them, one and all, Jesus always accomplishes the will of the Father as the word of God does. His word is always accomplished every time without faith. In Islam, you have a hardcore faith. You know, what is the, the Hadith, the guy he does, everything he can do. Yeah, until he's to, uh, to one of Cuban between him. Yeah, it's almost yeah, like he's being in heaven and then he go to hell. Yeah, and then at the end, yeah, then he goes to hell. See, that's the difference. In Islam, 
you can express will to get to Allah. Now, granted, they misunderstand. If they think of Allah as the one God of the universe, they misunderstand him. They don't know him. Well, they couldn't without Jesus, but putting that aside, you can express will to get to Allah, to know him as best you can, but your fate is written and it takes over regardless of your will. Christianity, everybody that has the will to come to Jesus and confess, believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, you shall be saved. It's, it's independent of your deeds or anything that you can do. It's not works based. It's believing. It's desiring, having the will to get close to God. Those are all, those people are all saved. And that's, I wanted to point that out. Well, not that the people, not that the Muslims who would call you that they ever really listen. You know, most of them are trying to prove a point anyway, but, you know, somebody else can be listening, you know, and they may miss the point. So I just wanted to say that on the air. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you. For um, that. Other than that, you guys, you have a good one. Thank you. Uh, in Georgia, I'll, I'll try to listen more than I used to. Right. And to that guy, man, go ahead, call back. <laughs> call back. <laughs> try your, try line's still open. Take your chance again. All right. Take care, my friend. Thank you for calling. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, you know, uh, God in Christianity, for sure, God always chose people. This, this is why there's a prophet. I'm not a prophet. Why? Because God chose someone to be a prophet. That is not really our topic. You know, do God choose people? Yes. Do God choose Moses? Absolutely. Do God choose Abraham? Yeah. So, but in even in order to choose, when God he chose, he chose someone he accept. Like, when God he chose, uh, uh, let us say, Moses to be a, his messenger, if Moses refused, he will not be his messenger. I will give you an example. Did Jesus choose 12 apostles? Correct, guys? Did Jesus himself choose 12 apostles? Okay. Do those 12 apostles have the freedom to follow him or to leave him? Yes, they have. And we have a proof of that. Is it true that one of the apostles betrayed Jesus? Is that correct? So he chose them yet they can still leave and they can betray. Not only them, even Peter he denied Jesus. Is that correct? Even Peter he denied Jesus. So God choosing people does not strip you from your freedom to be or not to be. This is what Christianity teach. He chose you, still you can say even no to God. And that is fair. Then if you say no to God, you deserve what will happen to you. Otherwise, why I will be punished for a crime I did not choose to do or not to do. Right? Hello? Hello, Christian Prince. Good evening. Good evening, my friend. Hello. My name is Victor from Nigeria. I, I, I cannot hear you well. Can you say again your name is what? Victor from Nigeria. All right, Victor. How are you, Victor? I'm fine. How is everything, dear sir? Hey, everything is good. For some reason, your connection not good today. What do you want to say to us, Victor? Okay, sir. Um, I called you one time. I said I want to copy with our debate you from Nigeria, sir. Right. Yeah. You told me he will call me, and you want me to make him uh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think the guy. Never knew you. He said the man is a doctor. He has PhD. He said he don't know how to do Skype. He cannot download Skype. So what we will do now? He want he wanted to fly over to Nigeria. No, no, no. Don't worry. I'll find another scholar for you. And I'm telling my friend that I'm Muslim to bring me their scholar so that I can introduce him to you. Hmm. Okay. Well, when they come to me, I'm here. As you see, I'm always here. They can call me anytime. No problem. Okay. Thank you. I, so I want to ask one question too. Sure. You know, people like Shabi Ali, um, Zakanik, they know that Islam is false. Why do they keep lying? To, why do they keep lying to people? It's a business. I mean, Shabi Ali is making a living from it. So why he will leave? I mean, it's a business is good, and uh, you know, there's many people they do business for the sake of money and they don't care about God. It's just another business. It's just another business. Um, nothing to do with God. You see, there's people who work in porn. 
I mean, everybody knows that porn is wrong, right? But yet they, they are willing to take off their panty and have sex in the front of the camera, and millions of people watch them. They don't have a problem with that, you know. The, it, oh, it is a business, and 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 Satan is powerful. You know, he he tempt people by many things. So if you want now, mm. if if Shabir Ali he leave Islam, what is better for him? He don't believe in any god, obviously. I don't think he believe in Allah. <laughs> so if he leave Islam, he will mm. lose everything. He will lose his family, his parents, his sisters, his brothers, his cousins, his heritage. They will deny him. They will not talk to him. In the same time, he will lose a job. He will lose the support. He will lose a donation. He will lose a lot. Mm, so there, there's, there's people who measure things about what they will lose, what they will win. But the Bible says, what is the benefit of somebody won the whole world and he lost himself? Yeah, that's true. Oh, because of this? Yes. Uh, I want to ask you another question. In the history of the world, tell me a disease or a disaster that has, that has each human being more than Islam. There is, so, sorry, again, say again. I don't understand what? Yes, in the history of mankind, in the history of my kind. Yeah. Tell me a disease or a terrible thing that has, eat, that has I attacked human kind more than Islam. You know, you, you see, I think, I think Islam, uh, a time will come and Islam will be demolished. Uh, Islam is a, is a change now, a lot like you know even now there's nothing left really of Islam what you see today this is not really I mean those Muslims if you if you look around you where is the Muslims who believe in Islam they are very few uh, so the Islam is uh, Islam is a changing and it's not going to be the only disease or let us say the biggest disease in the future I think there's bigger disease will come a human being always will suffer from more diseases and more illness and more sickness and more disasters and Islam is just a step of mankind, uh, let us say, um, trial. You know, because to be in it. Yeah, because to be in it. Because because Islam yeah. Islam is a is a is a bringing disaster. First of all, on Muslims. If you look around you, hmm. whatever Muslims live, they don't have a good life. Where they have a good yeah, life. The only because... places they have a good life is where where they don't really rule. As an example, if you go to Emirat. The one who control the country from the door to the door is foreigners. Prince, yeah. the prince is just a royal family, to, like to be the name. But in, in reality, the one who protect the country, the one who, uh, uh, you know, everything in the country is based in, in Qatar, in Emirat, in those countries is based on the West. So if the West took their fingers from there, those countries will collapse in a second. Uh, so yeah. Muslims, is, is, uh, Islam never brought something good to Muslims. And this is what Muslims notice. This is why you see millions of Muslims are running away from their countries, trying to, to find a better place, because Islamic countries never mm. gave them a better place. Even Muhammad himself is an immigrant. Mm. You know? But the, 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 differ, the, different, the, the different is that Muhammad, he was doing a migration so he can conquer by preparing himself. Some of the Muslims today, they believe in migration to conquer. Some of them, they don't believe in that. They believe just uh, the majority of the Muslims just want to have a better life, better living, the same as anybody. But Islam is not exist no more. As you see, all the Muslims who call me, they don't know what they are talking about. Where is the Muslims? Uh, because what the teachings you are teaching us today, I just realized it, that it's true. Because today, Bukhara beheaded a Muslim. She was she's a aid worker. She's working with Red Cross. They be that to the EB if they are concerned to the news. They be added that to their name is Aura something. And she's a Muslim. They be added that to the because they can't as an apostate because she's working with the Red Cross. Hmm. Well, anyway, my friend, Islam for me is dead. And the proof I cannot find a Muslim can answer. The day you find a Muslim he can answer you about Islam, that means there is a still some, some there is a still there's a Muslim is alive. As long we cannot find a Muslim, he can give us an answer. As long we don't find even single one, then there is no Islam left. Where is the Muslims? Yeah, but, find them here. But they are still doing these terrible. Well, they are still doing these terrible things all around the world. They are doing things that, that are just it's, it's too bad. It's too bad. It's too bad. You no, know, the bomb everywhere. The slaughter. Uh, the the, the biggest people around the world. The biggest Islamic country in the world is Indonesia, and 99.9 .9 of them, they don't even speak Arabic. So nobody knows what Islam is about. Those are just born out of religion. They don't know what they are talking about. They don't know they are praying to who. And we are working in changing all those nations to leave the, the cult. 
all what they need yeah. education right now actually i have my book is translated to the malaysian language which i think is understood by the indonesian and soon is going to be published so we are doing our best to teach all the words and thousands and thousands and millions of people will leave this cult it is education what you need you see people they used to die in africa and asia and europe by the flu it was just a stupid flu why because simply they don't even know what the flu is so in order to fight a <clears throat> disease true. you have to find the virus you have to find what is a sickness and we are here mm. finding the sickness and we are fighting it and we are victorious so we you know islam is dying and islam will disappear it's just a matter of time and the internet the muslim in the beginning they were happy for the internet because they thought they can spread islam and they were successful in the beginning trying to fool many but we you know people like me we wage a huge even though our let us say our ability is limited when it's come to money when it's come to publicity when it's come to publishing we don't have the support we don't have the money we don't have the tv stations but yet we were able to change a lot and we were able to defeat all the billions of dollars that the Muslim they spend for the propaganda of Islam is destroyed. It doesn't help them. Oh. We, the poor one, we are victorious because we have the truth in our side. They, the rich one, yeah. with all the oil and the billions of dollars and the millions of video to, to speak about Quran and science, we were able to defeat, defeat them very easy. And all what people need to, to see just watch the videos and see by yourself it's for free and don't ever believe neither a christian prince or a muslim without investigating what you hear and this is the way oh, to okay. get the truth muslims they don't want you to study islam muslim they'll give you a false version of islam false translation of the quran false translation of the hadith in order to cover the truth we don't do that they can lie to you but i will not let that happen and i say thank you god no that I am born in the Middle East and Arabic is my first language because that is the key for me to be who I am today to fight this cult. Otherwise, I will be uh, ignorant uh, the same as the rest. Yeah. Hello, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. Hello? Yes. Um, yes. Please, how can, we expand, how can we expand the channel uh, population? Like people will come in thousands. Like in the show, you'll be seeing more than 15,000 people watching at a time. I don't, you see, I, 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 Victor, I, I, Victor, I, I really I apologize from you. I have a hard, a hard time to understand what you are saying to me. I hope. Okay, I'm, I said sorry. How, I said, how can we expand the listener, the channel population? How can we expand it from three hundred plus to like fifteen thousand watching well, online? People, they can share. People, they can share the video. You can invite your friends. You can tell them about my books. You can tell them about my videos. You can tell them about my Patreon, where people always can find me in case we lost our channel. This is how we can make it big. People, they have to help to bring more people, you know? You know, the, the, the Lord, the Messiah himself, he have only 12. He don't have a 12,000, 12 men. And 12 men were able to make more, almost 4 billion human being Christians. You know, uh, so uh, we can do, why not? I mean, I, like right now, I have almost 400 people listening to me. So if everyone brings yes. one person, the 400 can be double in a, in a second. Just one, invite one. We can be 800. So people I will, I will help, can do that. I will, I will. All right, my friend. I will, I, will, I, will, I will post in your line to some YouTube channels. There are thousands of YouTube. All right. So thank, you, thank you, Vector, for calling. Thank you very much. And let us oh, hear you. Please, I can I get, sorry, I can I get your book in Nigeria. I can I get your book in Nigeria. Sorry? I said, how can I get your book in Nigeria? I don't know really. See if you can order it from Amazon. I have no idea. Go to Amazon.com and see if you can order it to Nigeria. I'm not sure. But maybe you can get a Kindle okay. version because this is easy. It just goes to your computer. What do you say? Kindle. Kindle is a, like it's a, you can read it on the computer. You do not need to to ship the physical book to you. Okay, okay. I will, I will try that. All right. I will try okay, that. Victor, thank you. Somebody trying to call. Okay, thank you. God bless. All right. I see somebody trying to call. Anyone? You know, Islam is very easy cult to defeat. They have money, but the money will not stay with them anyway. You know, and as you see, the Islamic countries are really exposed. Look what, what happened in Saudi Arabia. You know, 
uh, this is the center of Islam where the, the king he pray five times a day this is the center of Islamic religion where everybody is religious but yet you go to their embassy and then you disappear inside and they cut you pieces that is the truth that is Islam so you know they expose themselves you know I'm really I'm really thankful that we have Isis because it doesn't matter how much I tell you about how ugly Islam is, I will not be successful as one short video of ISIS. I'm very thankful that we have Al-Qaeda, even though it might be look weird that I'm saying thankful for having Al-Qaeda, but that make my, my mission a lot easier to show you that this is a religion of the devil. What kind of religion People enjoy chopping hands and 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 the, and putting nails in the eyes of people and cutting their fingers and torturing them, or you know to tie a person between two machines and rip him parts, or or you know I mean it's the most disgusting faith religion. People don't want you see people the problem with people today they read history, but they don't imagine the history. We don't have videos for the history. We don't have a video for the real Jesus when he was tortured to see how ugly the cross is. The cross was not fun. The cross is not what you think. It's just a cross in the church and it just Jesus was there and he said, Eli, uh, uh, Eli. It was not what you think. Hello? Hello, uh, Christopher. How are you, sir? Yeah, how are you, my friend? Uh, great. Um... I'm, I'm, I'm here in America, but I'm from Nigeria. I have a uh, little congregation church here. I don't, I don't um, because of the guy. I don't understand anything. You say again. Okay, I'm saying um, I, I'm here in America. I live here in America, but I'm from Nigeria. All right. So I, I, because of the guy that called in Nigeria, yeah. uh, from Nigeria, I will try to get you to Nigeria. And uh, because I found that, that those in Nigeria, uh, especially in Africa, um, they don't really understand these, uh, these about the the, the, the really about Muslim, or the, this religion, they don't really understand it. So I've been having the passion about it. Um, maybe one day I would like to get the guy there because I live here, the guy that just talked to you. Maybe um, he can text you, try to text him in the chat. You know, try to talk okay. to each other and uh, you know introduce uh, yourself to him. So, yeah. So we can work something out. Maybe like yeah. the radio line. Uh, please, the one who, who called me a second ago, the gentleman who called me a second ago from Nigeria, uh, 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 text this person in the chat. Uh, please text something in the chat. Say I am the one from Nigeria, and he will text you. You can chat with each other. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Thank Take you. care. All right. Well, I think uh, we are done for today, guys. I hope you guys you have a good time. And this is the uh, I don't want to I don't want to say what I how how important what I do, but I'm telling you, you will not find better school to educate you to educate your family more than my free school. The Lord He said, "For free you took, for free you give." Uh, I'm happy to educate as many as I can, and I'm happy. To show the Christians how easy it is to crush the cult of Islam, not to debate only, to crush it. This is religion, have nothing to do with God. It is stupid, it is evil, and you have to be a person who have a mental illness to believe in it. Don't worry about people they say, Oh, this person have a Islamophobia. My friend, in these days, anyone he said the truth, they call him phobia. The second you say what you believe, they call you phobia. The one who have a phobia is them. You know, I went to France, and they the, in the in the French government uh, uh, they have a new law. They are preparing it for the European Union uh, to, uh, to fight the phobia. But when I walk in the street in France, I found five soldiers in the right and five soldiers in the left walking next to me, and they are looking to me because I'm a Middle Eastern. Who is the one have a phobia? This is not a phobia. This is a real risk. This is why, if we have a phobia, explain to me why you have soldiers in the street since when in France. Do you need people with guns walking wearing uniform? That is not a phobia. That is reality. Since when in Germany you need people walking with guns, police holding guns, heavy machines guns? So you accuse us that when we speak against Islam we have a phobia, but you are the one who's holding guns, scared for the life of the citizen of your own? Be honest with yourself. 
Islam is not only an ugly cult, it is a threat to economy, to security, to mankind, to businesses, to everything. People, they cannot even do normal things in their daily life in Islamic countries. Every day there's a suicide bombing somewhere. Every day. There's people kidnapped in Nigeria, women kidnapped in Syria, in Egypt, in, in Libya. In Libya, tens of thousands of, of slaves right now as we speak, black and nobody care for them. Why nobody care for them? I will tell you why. Because they are from a poor citizenship. When an American guy get kidnapped, the whole world will move. When a French guy get kidnapped, the whole world will move. But when a poor African guy, thousands of them kidnap, nobody care. Tens of thousands right now, they are slaves in Libya and nobody care. You will not hear Trump talking about it. You will not hear Obama talking about it. You will not hear the president of France talking about it. Why? Because they are poor people. That is reality. And the one who is enslaving them is Islam. The world remember you only when you are rich. It's not only about color, it's about how rich you are. The south of Sudan, they were fighting for their independence forever and nobody cared. The second the day they found that they have a lot of oil, Obama, he announced, he went all the way, within 48 hours, he gave independence to south of Sudan. Is that because he loved the Christian? No, because they found that they have a lot of oil. We have to stand together. We have to fight for the truth. We are not standing against Islam only, but Islam is only one of many devilish things around us. Don't take a side of a person. Take a side of what is right. Don't stand with a Christian prince. Stand for what he stands for if it's good. Don't be a racist. Racist racism is another disease, and Islam is a racist religion too. Don't go with the stupid people who says to you that black people are bad, or the one who says to you white people are bad or Asian people are bad. There's bad everywhere. Bad, black, white, Asian, it doesn't matter. There's good, there's bad everywhere. I met black people who they are the most wonderful people. I met white people who they are the most harmful people, but I met from the white people who are amazing people. So what does this have to do with the color? This is what the devil he wants, my friend. He wants to divide mankind. Jesus says, love your enemy. Even the one you think he is your enemy, even if he is a true enemy, love your enemy. This is the way you can fight racism. This is the way you can fight hatred. And this is the way you can be living in peace. And the first peace you need is peace within yourself. And this is what Jesus, he brought to you. If you cannot have peace with yourself, you cannot have peace with others. If you don't have something, you cannot give anything. Islam brings hatred. The Quran says, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. Chapter 5, verse number 51. Chapter 9, verse 23 says, talk, take not even your father and your brother as a friend. Even your father and your brother. You as a Christian, you take a friend from everybody. You must, you should, for you love everybody. Don't be a racist. I would like to see you having a friend from a black people if you are white. And if you are black, have a friend from the white people. Let us be a family. If you are Asian, you are my brother in Christ. I love you all. And I stand always with the poor. I feel for the poor. And this is why always I speak against those who they are enslaved in Africa. It's a shame that nobody speak for them. <clears throat> Why always we remember the one who have a power and we forget about the poor? When a journalist who was a member of Al-Qaeda, his name is Jamal Khashoggi, disappeared, the whole world is talking about him. But tens of thousands of African poor people, they never harm anyone. Nobody even talk about them. They disappeared. They are enslaved in Libya right now. Where is it Trump to send the Marines to free them as we speak now? Where is the NATO? The whole world talking about a guy who is a friend of Osama bin Laden. His name is Jamal Khashoggi. 
This is how hypocrite the world is. Suddenly, everybody seeking justice, but justice for those who they are dying by thousands, nobody care for them. Be Christian. Be Christian and love everyone, every everyone around you, and seek justice for everyone around you, even if it's a Muslim. I will not accept that a Muslim he will not be treated justly. Because a Muslim is a human being like us, and he deserves justice. Let us be Christian. And nothing is better than being a Christian for the name of Christ is the best. And the best of me that I am carrying his name now. Nothing else, nothing less, nothing more. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will try tomorrow to do broadcast. Please subscribe and tell your friends about what we do here. If you like to join us, almost we are almost every day, if I can be here every day. Until we see you again. I say may the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And we we'll see you soon again. Thank you very much.